welcome everybody to this week's uh, episode of uh, Amiga Dawn, our Star Frontiers and Alpha, Alpha Hawks game. Um, we've been off for a couple of weeks due to circumstances beyond our control, but we're back and we'll be back as often as we can. Um, everybody's here today except for Thomas, who's apparently on a jet plane somewhere. Um, say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, and uh, where we left off last session, um, which is up on YouTube for those who are, I think it's up on YouTube. If it's not, it will be soon. Um, uh, last session, uh, uh, the uh, uh, budget crew had just finally uh, finished fighting off um, uh, or driving off uh, the uh, individuals who were firing at them. So they seem to be clear of um, clear of combatants at the moment. I'm not sure how everybody's health is, uh, whether we did actually did some healing um, uh, some surgery last uh, last session, or we need to do some now. Paul, you might want to uh, want to take the take on that. Um, yeah, well, I was, if I recall, trying to climb the hill, but was <laughs> oh, that's right, somewhat unsuccessful in my attempts. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You were trying. Can to I get some help up the hill, please? Yeah. So who all? Uh... Or Sari? Yeah. Well, Cerise is up the hill, but you're you're conscious, aren't you, Cerise? Yes. But Jazz is unconscious, I think. Is that right? That is what I was just checking. Uh, no, he's well, unless unless he's twenty one points under, maybe. No, he wouldn't be twenty. That's, well, it, it could be twenty one points under. He was he was he was in a bad way. Okay. Well, he just stabilized his bleeding. Okay. Yeah, we stab yeah, you did, didn't yeah, you stabilized his uncle. So um if you've got a rope or something, um, Cerise on you, you could throw one down, obviously to help to help dock up. I've uh, been grappled. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I do on me. Okay. Let's see if uh, Jazz has one on him that I can I can use his body as dead weight as an anchor and then toss the rope over. No, 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 that's no? Not, probably not <laughs> 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 Probably but not a good idea, man. Anchor that rope. If he's coming yeah, up to Jazz, just throw Jazz over the side to him. He can catch him. Yeah, I'm sure. No, don't, I, don't do that. No, <laughs> his rope is in storage, so he doesn't okay. have one. So, so you've got a grappling hook. You said you said uh, Vogue. All right. Well, um, maybe if you're going to be. If you're going to be th using the grappling hook dock, you'll need to throw it up and get it to catch on something. So well, I can, that... or you can throw it up to Ceres and I can tie it off. Oh. oh, that's right. You've got the gun. Grappling gun. Okay. All right. Well, who's using the grappling? Who's going to be shooting the grappling gun? Doc or you, though? Because if it's Doc, whoever does it needs to make me an attack roll. With. Uh... I don't oh. shoot stuff. Yeah, you don't. All right, well, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it does, and it's also at minus 10 because it's an, 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 awkward, it's an awkward one, remember? And do it off to the side. Yeah, of course you can. You're not, you're not under any pressure. 10. Ten. Uh ten. It's ten, is it? Uh, no, it's twenty. Twenty. It? There you go. Sorry. Well, hang on. It'll be in the. It'll be in the. It should be in the. Uh, the the modifiers list. Uh, Rip. We don't have one. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. That's right. I forgot about that. I had them all written out, and then we lost them. I was gonna. I must fix that kind of stuff. But yeah, once the rope's up here, then I can anchor it. Oh, yeah. Give us another. Give us another attack range. Another, another attack roll. Right. That's even, that's, even, that's even worse. And again, just takes time. In the meantime, what are you doing, Cat? That got it. Uh, I don't think there's all that much to do. Everybody that we killed is up on the. There's no one down on ground level that is killed. No, it's no one down ground. No, no, it's no yeah. one down ground level. Um. Should just be going around checking that how bad the explorer is. Not that she is right. a technician, but making no, doing but all you, that stuff. You, 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 yeah. you, you can give me a um. You can give me uh, your your 
computer build repair or your computer uh, repair skill. What's it called? I can't know what it's called. I've been out for too long. Yeah, your computer repair skill. Halve that. Halve that. Because it's not yep. computers, but it gives you the same idea. So from that, based on that role you made, yeah, sure, yeah. Um, look, it's got some damage. Um, it'll take it, it'll take a couple of hours to repair it to, to make it drivable again. But it's certainly uh, it's certainly not wrecked completely. Um, there's a couple of holes in it. It's not airworthy at the moment. It's not air sealed at the moment. Um, yeah. So uh, if you guys haven't got your masks on, you should have them on. Um, so yeah. Cool. All right, so you climb up. Yeah, so uh, give me a give me a dex check to uh, dex. Uh, um, what did I say? Dex. Yeah, give me a dex check to climb up that to climb up with the rope, mate. Please. That's yeah, that's perfectly fine. And you get up top, and um, poor uh, poor Cerise is hurt, and poor Jazz is unconscious. And by this stage, I'm assuming I'm assuming Vote's moved up to there. I think Jazz is due for some major surgery. Yeah. Cat, are you going up the up there as well? You're staying down the down the, in the trader. Uh, if everybody's up there, I'll go up there. Right. Okay. So um, I'm not sure how healthy everybody is or how unhealthy everybody is. Cat got surgery mid fight, so she's like eight points down. So okay, so you're good. okay. Yeah. Okay. Got to patch Babu up. He's good. All right. Okay. Yeah. Polk and Jazz. And I don't know what Cerise is like. So I should be good. Oh, there. Cerise should be good with first aid and a minor. Okay, well, you're going to have to, everyone, you need first aid first. That's how we started off. <coughs> That's how it started off. Here. So that the first aid's a given, or should be a given, or close to a given. Okay, so we'll start with Cerise. Uh-huh. Then Jazz. Okay, so it's first folk. aid for everybody. And folk. All right, so it's three lots of first aid. So it's three bio courts. You have to knock off the sheet. Okay, so Cerise needs minor surgery. Yes, please. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Piece of cake. Volk. And I think Jazz needs minor surgery, right? Major. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh well. Oh, well, you got minor. Then. Major. It's for Jazz. Yep, that's fine. Volk, do you still have an ouchie? That's an ouchie to me. All right, well, we'll do the major surgery. It was improper triage. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and time to change out uh, skin suits. If you got space, by all means. You didn't load a whole crate full of them, but I know what you mean. Well, you probably need to from now on. Well, you're the guys want you're the guys who want to buy the stuff. That was for you, Doc. Okay. I'm just taking some pills.
Hang on a sec, I'm just so, something's just confused me about this. You guys keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, what are you doing now? So, uh, what are you doing now, guys? Once you've got all that sorted, let's check the bodies for IDs and grenades. I sure. think they would have used them. Uh, any other valuables? Okay. So I don't you've think got we care about you've weapons, got, do we? You've got th you've got three groups. You've got one group to basically to your north. You've got one group ac uh, across the across the um, uh, chasm to the southwest, and you've got an, another group that were following you from the west of, west side of the crater. Okay. So which group do you want to hit hit up hit up first? Well, what about the ones right here where Cerise is? Yeah, that's the one. That, that's the group to the that's the group on this side. Okay. So that's group three. Group three. That's this way I've got a mark so I can know which one I'm talking about. Um, they're all dead. Funny that. Um, they've all been shot, um, which is uh, good for you guys, I suppose. Um, 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 sorry. Um, they're all human. Uh, there are three males and uh, two females. Um, uh, they you can't. They uh, they're wearing a number of different things. Um, weapons. I'm just going to go through them in this order. Uh, weapons. Uh, one of them has a uh, an auto rifle. Uh, there's a laser rifle, a laser pistol, and two gyrojet rifles. Um, the auto rifle has 10, has, a, has um, um, 10 bursts, 50 rounds uh, over a number of magazines. Yep. Um, the laser rifle has uh, eight, uh, has 40 SEU left in its. Um, uh, must be a backpack, I'm sure. A belt pack, sorry. It's got 40 left in the belt pack. And there is a second uh, belt pack as well on that guy. So Jazz will go for those two belt let packs. Me, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me, let, okay, whoa, let, me, let me do it this way. Let me, let me, sorry, let me start again because um, this is going to get confusing otherwise. So there's an auto rifle. There's a laser rifle, there's a laser pistol, and two gyrojet rifles. In terms of ammunition, there are uh, 50 rounds for the auto rifle, um, and 60 and 120 rounds for the gyrojet rifles, in plural. Okay. Um, in How many rounds of, was that? Uh, 50 for the five zero for the auto rifle, and one two zero for the gyrojet rifle. Okay, I'll take some of those. I'll put them on my sheet. Okay. Um, the the in, in terms of power, um, there is a uh, the one of the guys has a, a belt pack, a belt power pack, with twenty nine SEU remaining in it. Okay. One of the laser rifle guy, the, the one that had the laser rifle, has a fully charged belt pack and a belt a belt pack with um, 40 SEU remaining. So that's 50 and 40. Okay. The uh, the guy with the laser pistol also has a belt pack, a fully charged belt pack. So Jazz will grab that. Okay. Um, in terms of suits, um, three of them are wearing skin suits, which are completely shot up. One of them is wearing an albedo suit, which is completely shot up. And one of them has an undamaged albedo suit. Okay. Three of them have I'll albedo. 
Three of them have, have albedo screens. Two of them have inertia screens. The two with inertia screens um, each have or each also have a belt pack. Uh, one with 42 SEU and the other with 44 SEU. Okay. You also find two frag, two smoke, and an, and an incendiary grenade. Okay. Yeah, if nobody minds, I'll snag those. If somebody yeah, wants any of those, if they're going to use them, let me know. So you can have them. But if you're yeah, not going to use them, I'll go for them. It's always good to have a couple of, a couple of grenades on you, sure. All I can think about is how gross it would be to wear somebody's sloppy second skin suit. And Cat is disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you've got the albedo screens, you've got the inertia screens, and you've got some, and you've got the the power packs, uh, not fully, not not all of them fully charged. Okay, plus the the weapons if you want to um, grab the weapons from, or whatever. Um, so that's what that's what's on that the group of the five individuals, uh, just north of where you are, just north of where you are, yeah, where, where you were. Um, what are you doing now, gentlemen, ladies? Uh, remind me because I missed the, the session before this, the previous session. So I've okay. I've been missing a lot. Uh, I know we found documents at the sanatorium and raced down this access way to the shuttle pad, but I can't remember why. Um, can um. people jog my memory? Yep, that rings a bell. Cool. Let's go to the group. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Before you just, 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 just to elaborate on that slightly, um, and you aren't, you aren't. That wasn't was not incorrect at all. Um, uh, the KLC uh, have developed a virus, uh, which they believe will wipe out all um, Vrusk life on the planet, and therefore get the planet back for the humans. Yeah, um, but cat figured out. Yeah. <laughs> cat figured out. Yeah. Cat figured out that that there's a flaw in it, and it'll actually react with the with elements in the atmosphere, um, and 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 uh, and will then uh, wipe out all life on the planet. Um, Rip. And you're and you're on the planet <laughs> at yeah. the moment. So yes, it's 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 a, it's a save the it's a save the world situation. Um, in the tradition of all good melodramas, uh, or dramas, gotcha. uh, or action dramas. So yeah, that's basically what the what the story is. Okay, so we'll save the world, launched. and then somehow a nuclear reactor will melt down and kill everybody anyway. That's how that's how we roll, right? Well, that's, that, <laughs> well, that's how that's how you roll. That's how you roll once before. I don't think it's going to happen that way again. Uh, so uh, you wanted to go to the group on the south. So you, you're going to climb down and then climb back up the other side, are you? No, no. The the south group should we should just be able to walk around the side, right? But it's they're the, at hash one. It's they're the west one, group that. No, no, not hash one. Down wasn't there another group? So then I misunderstand the, where the three groups were. Yeah, over in the west. There's one over towards the west. But wasn't there one to the south? No, oh, well, no. Okay. I said one. I said I said one to the southwest. I said there's one to the southwest across the chasm. That's hash group one. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to number and one then. So you're gonna climb down the chasm and climb up the other side. Yeah, we'll take uh, take it slow and assist people as they need. All right. Well, in that case, can I get it? Can I get uh, dex checks off everybody? Two dex checks over everybody first. The first one to climb down, the second one to climb up. Uh, and, and by the way, while you when you climb down, are you going to be? Um, uh, are you going to take any of this equipment and store it in the Explorer, or are you going to take the equipment with you? Because I need and you need and I know the paperwork's a pain in the butt, but get used to it. Because we need we, we, this is this will be this could be important, both in the uh, short and the long term. The few things that Cerise and Jazz took, they're taken with them. 
But I don't know. Do we want to take all the weapons, guys? Do we want to leave them here? Or do you want to attack uh, and sell them? Um, do you want to attack I and sell think, them? I uh, think Babu can carry them and drop them in the Explorer when we go down and back up. Okay. Yeah, and we'll it's take a... the screens, too, and throw those in the Explorer. Yeah, the screens are pretty expensive. The guns are not so much. Could we just have Rizzy about... drive it back out and come back up on the top part? Uh, well, that's going to, as I said to Kat, um, when she checked out the Explorer, it's, there's going to be, it's, it's a couple of hours of repair to get it running again. And you're not sure you have that much time. Okay. Sorry about that. No, that's cool. I'm... The Explorer? Uh, yeah, I doubt it. It's not that type of shuttle from what you've seen so far. Um, um, so yeah, so Kat, you missed that first one, so I need you to give me a D10 damage roll as you slide your way down the, d d d down the, down the cliff. Uh, but climbing up the other side is fine. Um, that's a D10 roll for you as well, Cerise, climbing up the other side, and you need to give me a second dex check, um, to climb up. Okay, hang on a sec, um. So Cerise, again, it's another D10 Cerise damage and another climbing check. Uh, Voke, it's a D10 for you sliding down and it's a D10 for you climbing up and uh, that's another another uh, roll to get up, the, up to the top. Okay, so you're up the top. So we just need uh, Jazz and Babu and Dot to make their rolls. Doc gets down all right. Doc gets up all right. Cerise, every time you fail, it's a D10 damage roll with bruises and bumps, mate. Yeah, that last one was Jazz. Oh, okay, that's Jazz then. So Jazz takes 10 damage and, and bruises and bumps. Okay, so is that everybody? And then, hey, Doc, can Jazz and Cerise get first aid, please? And anyone else who needs it. Okay, Jazz is first. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Babs. Then Cerise. I can't seem to get up this thing. First aid. There you go, Babs. And I think Bab needs it too, with all that, all that, all that sliding down the hill. Actually, that was going up the hill. Okay. Going up the hill, sorry. Cats up. Is that still the same? Oh, there you go. Excellent. Someone else needs it too, right? Was that you? Uh, I think it, I think everybody needed it except you. I think everybody it's needed. So that's everybody, I believe. Is that right? Um, I, I hope so. so. Okay. So you search around a bit, and you come across the. You eventually find the five individuals uh, who are shooting. Five individuals who are shooting at you again. Three guys and two girls. Um, uh, an auto rifle, a laser rifle, a laser pistol, and two gyrojet rifles. Two completely shot up skin suits. Um, a skin suit with nine points left. Uh, ben, you got ten points back for first aid, mate. Ah, sweet. Um, Sorry, yeah. Uh... 
uh, I've yeah, been yeah. Uh, seasoning my new iron pans today, ah, and it looked like uh-huh. it was going to rain, and I'm like, fuck, they cannot get rained on. <laughs> uh, so I had to That's run right. in and get them in. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so, as, as I said, two skin suits completely shot to, shot to pieces. A skin suit with nine points left, an albedo suit with 56 points left, and a fully functional albedo suit. Three more albedo um, uh, three more ab- albedo screens. I'm keeping track of the screens and then only the the ammo and the power that I'm t- taking. Yeah, I think I think that's a decent plan. I mean the we're not going to be taking every one of these guns and selling them. Well, well they're illegal they're to sell, to... right? No, they're not illegal to sell. Um, I thought possession of these wef- of rifles was illegal on this planet. No, you just needed a license for it, and you guys don't have licenses. Ah, that's well. I'm not collecting the weapons. Um, wh- I assume no, on okay. all that, of that's, these. That's 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 fine. Hang on. Well, that's fine. Okay. Um, just whatever you guys want to want to keep, just somebody note it down somewhere, and where it is, like who's got it, and, or someone's claiming it, or if it's in the van for, for sale later or whatever. So, okay. Yep. Because and nobody has any ID on them. Uh, no one's got any ID on them. No. Okay. No, 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 no. So, yeah, uh, so, 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 go on. The screens are like two grand a pop retail, aren't they? Yep, they're so, not, yeah, they're not cheap. Yeah. So I'm recording cool. those. Cool. Yeah, okay. So that's it. Three screens um, and two more, uh, three albedo screens and two inertia screens. Um, uh, and uh, the only, and you also find two smoke grenades as well. It's so much easier when you're playing games that you just find gold at the end of the fight rather than <laughs> all this bookkeeping oh pfft. it's treasure a good a good dnd game should 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 award most of the especially at higher levels should be awarding most of this stuff in terms of um carpets and artwork and statues and things like this so yeah yeah it's only lazy gms who, who award all their treasure in gold yeah or nasty GMs who award it in copper. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to, um, uh, so the players have to hump it all, all over the place. It's what the portable hole's for. That's what the portable hole's for. It's also what the bag of holding's for. <laughs> just don't put a portable hole in the bag of holding. Actually, really, just on a, just on a quick sidebar, did anyone ever see the meme um, that went through a little while ago about um, letting engineers play role-playing games. Um, there was a, 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 a design, an engineering design for an arrow um, which had a portable hole and a bag of holding. And when the arrow hit the ground, the portable hole was forced into the into the bag of holding. Anyone ever see that? No. I've got a copy of it. I must give it. I must. I must track it down and send an email to you. It's quite amusing. It, it's, it's fully engineered properly. Yeah. You know. um, don't let the engineers near the role playing games. <laughs> uh, dear. Um, uh, you also find. Sorry. You also find six belt packs. The belt packs. Um, two are fully charged. One has two SEU remaining. One has 10 SEU remaining, one has 32 SEU remaining, and one has 42 SEU remaining. Uh, Cerise, did you write down the fully charged ones? We'll just throw them in the Explorer. I, w- I will. If, you, if nobody wants these two, I will grab these two belt packs. Uh, yeah, I think... Oh, okay. Yeah, then add the full belt packs to that. And did you add the screens to it, Rye? Okay, I'll put it in chat. 
Yeah, he's copy and pasted from to and from chat. Um, there's also 20 auto rifle bullets and 57 gyrojet rounds. For all you Gorojet people out there. So what are you doing, guys? So let's go around the to the Western group. Okay, the Western group. Um, you do actually find all the bodies of the Western group. Uh, one of them, one of the guys, one of the uh, there's again three guys and two girls. One of the guys tried to actually crawl away um, and got about 10, 15 meters uh, before passing out and is now uh, died from blood loss. Um, again, an auto rifle a laser rifle, a laser pistol, and two gyrojet rifles. Two shot-up skin suits. A skin suit with 19 points remaining. Two undamaged albedo suits. Three albedo screens. Two inertia screens. Two frag grenades two smoke grenades and an, an incendiary grenade, a fire grenade. 20 rounds of auto jet, auto jet sorry, I'm sorry, 20 rounds of auto rifle. Uh, and and when you say 20 ra rounds, do you mean two clips? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, two, I mean 20 rounds, um, probably in two clips, yes. Or one clip, whatever. One clip, whatever, yeah, uh, yeah, two bursts, whatever, yeah, gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Um, and 87 gyrojet rounds um, and a fully charged belt pack belt power pack um, and four other five other belt packs one with 23 SEU in it one with 42 one with 44 and two that are completely drained You know that the, the 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 belt packs with at least forty SEU in it are probably worth taking. I mean, they know their way a bit. Oh, well, okay, fair enough. You can sell them all later. Okay. <laughs> must do that for the um. I must do that for the uh, for the Deadlands game. Um, is uh, put you guys on a low a low NO diet. No. We're all punchy, kicky, swordy people. That <laughs> well, I don't know about. I, well, I, you might be. You might be all right that way, but I don't think. Um, I don't think. Uh, um, uh, Andrew. Abner. I don't think Abner yeah. would be. Um, he's no, that'd be a problem. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what you. That's what you find. Again, none of them got ID. Um, they're all human. Um, various, uh, various ethnicities of human, but they all are, are all are definitely human. Um, and they're all under the age of, you'd say, 45, and uh, and at least 18. But that's not unusual for this type of mercenary type person. Yeah. Like, do they look um, military? Mm, they look paramilitary. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, the the if Jazz wants to give me a logic roll, and anyone else with a military PSA, which I don't think there is anyone else with a military PSA. No. Um, look, they Jazz Jazz 
determines that um, they, while the tactics weren't bad, um, the spacings, um, the initial spacings around the around the uh, the crater weren't too ideal, but the individual spacings and how close everybody is to everybody else and things like that, it shows some training, but it's certainly not. It, it's certainly militia level training, not not professional level training in terms of uh, in, in terms of how they how how they deployed themselves and and and, and what they did. So yeah. good good militia, but still only militia. They they, they, they weren't they weren't professional they weren't professional soldiers. Uh, and if they were mercenaries, they were pretty bad mercenaries. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So, um, also uh, looking at their looking at uh, their group two's hands, um, some of them are calloused uh, in in a way that would indicate uh, physical labourers and things like that. Um, none of them really have the type of uh, calluses on their hands that again soldiers develop. Um, because because it's a different different area of the hand that's being under pressure, which is where the calluses are different. Um, and some of them some of them don't have any any calluses at all. You you suspect a couple of the at least one of the girls is a, a woman women would be a, a for want of a better term an office worker, in terms of the the level of the level of um, um, scratches and that on hands and 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 things like that. Um, or uni student, yeah. Well, you know, something like that, maybe. Um, so yeah, they they don't come across as professional soldiers, no. I'm assuming you're relaying that information to the others. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So you're on the you're on to the east of you is a crater. Inside the crater is a uh, shuttle, and the shuttle is covered by a camo net um, it's quite easy to see the shuttle through the camo net from this distance it's um, but anything more than say really anything more than 50 meters outside the area outside the lip of the sh lip of the trader and the shuttle basically would, would blend into the the surrounding um, the surrounding terrain and be invisible so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be visible from a flyover or a satellite for example um, and uh, so yeah so what do you guys want to do well, do we want to continue around the edge of the craters looking for stuff, or shall we go down and check out the shuttle? Uh, I think we're in a bit of a hurry, aren't we? Go down to the shuttle. Start thinking yeah, if we need to do Is repairs. there that part of the crater that's not revealed, Matt? That's not a uh, structure that we should be concerned with, is it? Uh, well, I mean, metagaming. That's metagaming. To a certain extent, um, but I mean, can't the, we the, see that from where we're oh, at? You, now? Yeah, 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 yes. Now you can see you can see what it is, and it looks like regular shuttle. A uh, little shuttle. It looks like regular um, regular crater wall. Okay, it's just there's notes on the map, which I need to keep hidden. That's all. Yeah, okay, that's what that's what I was getting at. Yeah, so then let's go down and check out the shuttle. Okay. So um, you uh, give me. I need a dex check of everybody to get to get back down. Um, and whatever you're carrying and throwing into the explorer, throw into the explorer. Don't forget the explorer is at the mouth of the at the mouth of the ravine at the moment. Uh, Resi is at is, is Resi's at in the sh in the in the um in the thing for you by the way. Um, and again, don't forget if you fail, you slide and take d10 damage. What happens if check? you get 98? Oh, uh, you 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 actually um uh, uh sprain or break an ankle and require minor sur uh, and require minor surgery to. Reset it from the dock without a first right. aid check, um, and um, your movement is halved uh, for the next, uh, well, for this session at least. Well, because yeah, it's strapped up and and whatever else. Great. I thought okay, about that actually. Incoming. I did. Okay, so so you can move and the, the the pain's bearable, but you have actually you hurt yourself quite badly in that fall. Um, Delicious. So you, sorry, mate, but you know you rolled the critical. Let's hope um, there's no running away from like an exploding <laughs> space station at the end of the scene. Cat now gonna die. Not, now why didn't I think of that? Um, anyone require first aid? 
Oh, and you get ten point, and you and you get ten points back yeah, that, 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 that uh, of of first aid yeah. in, within that cat. But you still got to take the ten point roll. You got to take the D ten roll of damage. Yeah, uh, you too, Jazz. Oh no, your was your logic roll. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So you get five. You take five points and get ten and get up to ten points back um, of of whatever. Um, so the shuttle itself. Um, uh, it's it, it appears to be a, 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 an improved version of the standard of, of the standard shuttle. Um, Cerise, you suspect that unlike standard shuttles, which are not interplanetary, this one might be. Um, it certainly it certainly gives you that impression of what you're looking at it, uh, looking at it so far. Um, so most most shuttles are surface to orbit. Um, this one appears that it could actually be it could actually be um, surface to surface. Um, I'll ask Rizzy about it. Um, yeah, she, she 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 thinks she agrees with you. Um, it's certainly bigger than it's certainly a little bit bigger than 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 a standard shuttle. Um, a standard shuttle holds about six. This one she estimates would hold maybe a dozen, uh, possibly. Um, the, the the you you find the entry airlock uh, without too much trouble. Um, it's got a level three lock on it. All right. Well, I'm working on the lock. I'll tell the other guys, hey, see if you can remove the uh, camouflage from it. You know, it's just a camo net, so it's just a matter of, of, of basically pulling them, pulling the net off. If everybody works on it, be, they should be okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, also, I'll also get everybody to give me a... Um, a spot check, please. And I'm going to put some penalties on it. Noise. Noise. I think I found Very noise. Yeah. Uh, can I have Doc and Cat over to the private room for one, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. You guys live. Everybody else is. <laughs> I don't think that die roll worked. Oh, that one did. So, who's all left here? And Babs. Are we going to take the shuttle back, probably? Or? Well, we got to take the shuttle to the moon. Yeah, whatever. So we need to check the computer for where Artemis base is, as well as any recognition codes.
and then put on spacesuits. I'm going to go grab a drink. User joined your channel. Um, so um, you managed, so you get the you get the camo netting off the shuttle, um, and um, looks like Cerise has. Uh, there were no defences on the uh, on the alarm, um, so there was, the, the de deactivate alarm was not was not necessary, but that's okay. Um, and you managed to get the uh, the lock the 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 lock the airlock open on the shuttle. Um. Cat's gonna tap Jazz on the shoulder and go, "Hey, Jazz," points at the wall. Does that look like yeah. a big hollow screen to you? Yeah, there's an anomaly um, there. Yeah. Uh, so Jazz. Uh, so I don't know who else is in the, with the, within earshot, but at the moment, Jazz. Uh, Jazz looks over towards where Cat's pointing, which is towards the northeast of the crater. Uh, Jazz, can you give me a? Uh, can you give me another spot check, please? Uh, the penalties won't be so high this time. You said Jazz. Jazz. Uh, yeah, Jazz. There does there does seem to be a a hollow screen forming part of the crater wall to the northeast. Now, you you Jazz would have seen a couple of the, a couple of these the, the before. It's quite large. It's, it, it's it, it would certainly be large enough to 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 screen an explorer, for example. Um, hollow screens on vehicles generally they, they, they require too much power. So they generally don't do it, um, but you've seen hollow screens um, masking, for example, fixed defensive uh, emplacements before um, in your in your travels, um, no. and, and things like things like that. So does that all make sense? Northeast or northwest? Northwest, sorry, northwest. That was yeah. Uh, and I guess I I tell Jazz, I take the uh, auto rifle off my shoulder strap and say do you want to go check it out yeah let's definitely go and then matt while you were away cerise did the rolls to check for an alarm dearm it yeah, if I there is one and open yeah I, I said that i said that i was great i, I did that oh were you you weren't here to hear me, hear me say it. yeah and so that the, and so the, the outer airlock on the shuttle is open the outer airlock door on the shuttle is open okay so uh let's let, let me just let me just leave you for a second cat just for a sec what are you doing at the shuttle guys So gonna look, be be concerned for people being inside. So oh, I'll well. I'll take Babu with me and we'll go in and clear the shuttle. All right. So Babu and so Babu and Cerise are going into the shuttle into the airlock. Um, Cat Babu and Jazz. Four okay. Sorry, sorry. Hang on. What was that? I missed it. Four sack. Okay. Oh, you got your four sack there. So what's Voke and Doc doing? I'm still pointing at the anomaly. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, Cat and Jazz are moving over that way. Are you going with them or are you staying at the shuttle or, or, or what? I'll go over there and check it out. All right, you're going over there as well. And what are you doing, Vic? Okay. Um, so you guys move into the airlock, uh, and you cycle the airlock and move inside. Resi's, Resi's staying outside at the moment. Um, the shuttle has uh, a, the interior, th there's an interior compartment with um, uh, two, row, two rows of two seats on either side of an aisle, so eight seats. Uh, there's a forward compartment with a, do with a closed door, probably leading, leading into the cockpit. Um, and there's a rear, uh, uh, there's a, um, a rear, uh, uh, a door in the rear, um, which probably leads to both 
uh, well, certainly to the to the engineering compartment if there is one, um, or a or a, um, a cargo storage area if there is one. So, what do you want to do inside this huddle? Oh, uh, by the way, just inside the just inside the inner door of the airlock, there's a uh, there's a locker, a reasonably large locker. We're looking for people first, so yeah, go to the cockpit first and then clear. Okay. I mean, stuff like that, empty lock, that's for you. I'll just keep an eye out and we'll look for anybody stowed away. Good. Well, the, 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 the passenger area looks pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty spartan, uh, apart from the, the, the seats, which look reasonably comfortable. Um, and there are windows, obviously, portholes. Um, so moving to the to the cock, what you assume is the cockpit door, um, the cockpit door opens um, towards you uh, and swings to the left. So the the knob, the door handle or the hatch handle, if you like, is on the right. It's not a hatch; it's just a door. Like so, being door. Care, being careful so we don't get shot. We'll open it and then move in. All right. Uh, the cockpit itself. Uh, it is the cockpit. Um, you have your standard pilots and co-pilot seat, uh, an engineering seat behind uh, behind uh, one of you know, an engineering position, and also uh, looks like a, a a jump seat or or a fourth seat. Um, what the first thing you note um, is that there is um, a, a panel on the right hand. You assume it's engineering area. Uh, there's a panel missing. Uh, with uh, wires uh, hanging out of the space where the um, the instrument or panel, whatever it is, went. Uh, they don't appear torn, they just appear unplugged. Okay. So uh, possibly someone's removed something for repair um, would, be your, would be your best guess. Best guess. Uh, the shuttle looks um, um, capable of uh, being piloted by all four races. Um, in terms of the seating arrangement, um, so um, so yeah. All right. So after the cockpit's clear, then we'll check, and if that lo big locker, we'll clear that big locker and then go to the cargo area and All right. search well, cargo. The check the, yeah. yeah, open up the locker. The locker contains um, two pairs of magnetic boots. And two light sky blue uniforms uh, with matching hood and visors. Logo on them? Uh, just looking for that now. Hang on. Yes, there is a logo on uh, the uh, left breast. No, sorry, on the shoulder pads, on the shoulders, um, uh, with um, um, yeah, uh, um, a a, um, a celestial body, a moon possibly, or it could be a planet, probably a moon. Uh, there's a, uh, a, a a missile or a a, a, a rocket. Um, uh, on a on a diagonal from top, as you look at it from top left to bottom right, with a bit of a flame out the bottom of it, um, and around the around the edge, um, the words Artemis and base. Okay. Okay. And then anything in the cargo area? Okay, well, the cargo area, uh, the door is a bit bigger than in the cargo area. It's, it's almost, it's not a double door, but it's a door, like a door and a half. Um, uh, and it opens up into a cargo area. There's a, there, it's obviously a cargo area. Um, there's nothing in it, in it worth mentioning at the moment. It's practically empty. Um, and there's another door leading further back. And this one's actually a hatch hatch, like a, a locked down, not a locked down, but a, you know what I mean? A, a, it's, it's not just a door, it's a hatch. Okay, let's... Uh check that for um make sure there's no uh, alarms on it because i'm assuming it goes to the engineering compartment yeah. but then we'll oh, that's it. 
Yeah, well, that well, if you want to check for alarms, that's an alarm check. You know the you know so. Well, yeah, I don't mean security alarms. I mean like a radiation alarm that would be. Well, it's that's still it's still an alarm, and it still it still gets checked for. So make me the roll, please. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's there's nothing, there, there, there's nothing on it at all. No alarms or otherwise. There's no, there's no alarms to be alarmed about. Um, okay. So you want to open the door or? Yep, open the door and go in. All right. Uh, inside appears to be it is it is the uh, the engine room. There is a um, um, a computer terminal. I mean, there's computer terminals in the in the in the cockpit for that matter. Um, th there's a computer terminal here, um, and um, obviously the uh, the start of some uh, start of the engines. The engines appear to be um, li um, liquid li uh, chemical based, liquid chemical, as opposed to impulse or uh, nu or uh, nuclear atomic. Uh, okay. Nuclear um, so yeah. Um, so uh, there's a terminal, there's probably a computer, and at this point you probably want to get Cat involved. However, Cat and Jazz and the Doc are checking out this hollow, uh, hollow screen. The hollow screen is making whatever it is, it's designed to look like part of the, the, uh, the rock wall of the crater. Um, um, it's about oh look about four meters wide and about probably about the same high in a in a rough arch there's no activity as you approach or as you check this thing out so so jazz is uh, all for going yeah. in yeah you go in all right. Well, Lead so on. You only, you only, you, 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 as you step through, you only go about six or eight, or six or eight inches or so, and you come up again, depending on where you step through. You come up against a steel door or a metal door, hmm. um, and it's got a, it's got a, it, it's got a, a lock on it, not a padlock, but a, a lock lock. So, yeah. uh, n uh, none of you are a technician, so I can't tell you what level lock it is. I guess this is when. I call out to Cerise, and then Cerise calls out to me, and we swap places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to? You want to? Do you you want to do it simul? You still want to do this simultaneously, guys, or do you want to? No, it? let's all uh, go over to the door now. Yeah. We'll finish checking out the shuttle, then we'll all go over. All right. So do you want to check out? In that case, do you want to check out the computer in the shuttle, Cat? Uh yeah, I will. But let's let's just focus on the door first um okay that's cool that's cool because that won't take too problem. long uh we'll, okay. we'll, and then we don't have to split the attention of the party yeah okay that's cool um so yeah so um when you come over to the door when everyone gets over to the door um uh, it's a level three lock um and the the door actually slides into the wow um so let me um, before anyone jumps the gun, just let me do this for a second. Oops, ignore that. Um, so there weren't any, there weren't any there weren't any alarms uh, or, or what defenses, and the door is un, uh, unlocked. Whoopsie daisy, it's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Where's my where's my thing that I want to share this? Okay. So uh, once you get through the first door, which um, the you go back about, I can't remember what, what, what the scale is. It five meters? This thing? Yeah, it is. Uh, you go back about ten meters. Uh, the tunnel goes back about ten meters or so, um, and um, there's another door, uh, similar to the first one. Um, but what really grabs your attention? Oh, I don't have, I don't have it loaded. Shit. Uh, I'm going to use this guy. Uh, between you and the and the door, represented by Davy Crockett, because I don't have the uh, robots loaded, um, is a security robot. Should 
should have uh, put on the should... uniform. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Should have put on the should have put on the uniform, yeah, possibly. Um I'm gonna need initiatives off everybody because he's hostile. Or it's hostile. I think we're hostile. Okay. Um so let me pull up the instant combat tracker. Let me add Right. This guy put in there. Can you see that? Right. So, uh, initiatives, initiatives, initiatives. Cat got an eight. Uh, now, for now, some if you want to, if you guys want to use the side of the crater as cover, that's fine. But you'll only get um, uh, two people each side. One person prone and one person standing. Does that make sense? Yeah. I yeah. Think there's sense. four of us over here, right? Well, I thought there was. I thought there were six of you over there. That's why I mentioned only four. When are you going to attack him? Yes, you do. Well, I can see it. It's down near. It's down near the word shuttle camouflage. I can't see it. Scroll the map out. You can't see that rotating. No. Nope. And I get it fully zoomed or, out. Or getting large. Oh, really? Oh, that's okay. 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 Let me get rid of it then. We'll put it on again. Vokes having an identity crisis. You see it now? Yep. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Well, guess what? You thought wrong. What are you doing, Babu? You up there as well? Yep. Can I mean, you see yourself? They don't want me to go in first, and I'll cover the rear, maybe. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, so uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I just didn't move on. Right so, uh, sorry, so Cat got eight. Therese got 11. Uh, Babs got eight. Where are you, Babs? Babs got eight. Uh, Vote got a 15. Nice one, Vote. Uh, Pedro, Doc Pedro got a nine. Or Pedro Doc Gato got a nine, I should say. And Gav got a seventeen. Oops, seventeen. And the com the security bot got a seventeen as well. Okay, so there we go, that's better. Um so um the the the, the security bot seems to be a standard bot, it's got two mechanical arms. Um it's uh, it's wearing a skin suit, um, and appears to also have a, uh, a la uh, an albedo screen as well, um, and it's uh, it's armed with a laser rifle plus obviously it's it's bashing hands. Um, so yes, that's what it is. So um, the, the security bot and Jazz are going to go at the same time. So Jazz, what are you doing? He's going to roll out of the way. Meters. He's going to roll out of the way. So where's he rolling to? Yeah, to the north side of the crater. Yep, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, and so is that all you're doing? That's fine. Um, the security bot um, is going to take a shot at Cerise, of all people. Um, and it's practically point blank range because it's only 10 meters oh, god and misses completely what type of weapon laser rifle i did okay. say i was armed with a laser rifle um where were we um and a power backpack which appears to be powering both the screen and the rifle Does this okay. uh, does this security robot look like kind of like Bruce Campbell wearing a yellow bike helmet in real life, or is it just the token? I uh, know it's just a token. It's the first token I've got. <laughs> that's actually, if you look at, yeah, it, that's actually a Davy Crockett type to token from the Deadlands game. It's only it's only tokens I've got loaded. Uh, um, yeah. it, um, so it's actually it's actually buckskin, which is what you'll find. 
Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's uh, that's the security robot, um, and I um, know oh, he's got a second shot. Hang on, I don't want to forget you get two shots of a laser rifle. Oh no, he doesn't. Not because he rolls so badly the first time. So he only gets the one. Um, so Voke, you're up. What are you doing? Okay, we'll remove your token then, please. Sarit. Um, I'm going to shoot it. You're going to shoot it from where you are? Okay. Uh, that's what, uh, 15, call it, call it just under 15 metres from where you're standing. Uh, I'm trying to look that up as to what that range is. I think it's short. Could Which be is point minus point. 10? It's my, I think it's short, yeah, minus 10. Uh, no, but the recoil, the, I mean, if you're going to fire it from the hip, the recoil's going to be wicked. And you wouldn't be, you oh. wouldn't have the machine gun on you. The Three thing shots weighs so it. much. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt, I, I doubt you'd have the machine gun with you, mate. Seriously. Um, but anyway. Uh, three shots, two of which hit. Uh, is that right? No, no one, just one hit. hit. One, hit. You're not, yeah, one hit. You're not Jesse Ventura in Predator walking around with a chain gun. It, that's not how real life works. <laughs> I, 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 I... Uh, if, if, if if that's the case, then yeah, I don't see why you couldn't. But I mean, the, it's not a it's not a ben, it's not a Jesse Ventura mini gun. It's a machine gun, so the recoil on it is going to be wicked. But you can carry it around with you, but you have to drop prone to to use it, right? No, no, no. You can fire it from the hip, but if you want to fire it from the hip, the wicked the recoil is going to be. Really nasty. Uh, 23 points of impact damage. Impact is against the... Skin suit. Skin suit, that's right. So, down to 23 already. No, 27 already, what am I saying? Okay. So there's no, look, um, there's nothing. I, by, and, and by the way, just for the re just for the, the conversational point, um, one of the guys I was in the army reserves with, who was a machine gunner, used to fire from the hip. Used to carry it around and fire from the hip, and, and would hit nothing because the recoil was so ridiculously bad. So he was quickly taken off machine gun and put on onto a rifle. Hey Matt, that should only be thirteen points. That plus oh, ten oh, was supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, it's uh, 12 points because 11 goes through. Yeah, sorry. That's me not being... Yeah. So that's uh, 38 and 11 to the guy. Uh, which puts him on... Puts it on 89. Okay. Because it's got a standard standard robot body. Um, so, uh, where were we up to? Um, so, yeah. So if you want to fire it from the hip, go for your, go for your, go for, go for your life. Um, Doc, what are you doing? Okay, uh, I think he wants to kind of run back and see if he can take cover behind the shuttle, if he can get that Certainly far. Certainly can. Uh, Rezzy's back there, by the way. Um, Hi, Rezzy. Uh, hello. In in female brust, which I can't do. Um, bam, bam, bamboo. Bamboo? <laughs> bamboo? Uh, you get my character mixed up, aren't you? Bamboo? No. Oh, well, I, well no, actually, I didn't because I, I, I was, yeah. All right, don't mind me, but yeah, I see where you where you would think that. So what's you doing, Babs? Uh, I'll move. Therese has the machine gun. No, Voke's got a machine gun. Voke, I'll move next to Voke then, assist with gun him if needed. Ah, you're just in there reloading and things like that. Sweet, can do that. Great. 
And Kat, what are you doing? You, 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 what, what, you, you act at the same moment that um, Babu does. Um, so what are you doing? Uh, do I see them getting Dad? out? <laughs> no, that's me. Sorry. Do I see them getting out machine gun ammunition and like feeding it into machine guns and all that kind of stuff? No, because no. Well, they, they are they are behind you according to the according to the map. So. Ah, so I wouldn't e I wouldn't even know. Um, well, so no, cool. you probably know. If, if, uh, you know. Uh, so with that said, uh, I'll just I'll fire a burst on this guy if Cerise shot it. She's not okay. looking to disable it, so she'll shoot it up. Sure, certainly. Um, go for your life. Um, that's right on the ten meter mark. So you can actually make it. That actually should be point blank for you, I think, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, plus. Oh no, minus twenty. For what? Oh, you're minus 20, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's true. You probably would hear um, uh, uh, the rustling of people drawing ammunition belts and things like that. Um, and, 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 and just, again, just as a sidebar, one of the things we used to do when we were in the reserves, it's, and you hear it in the movie sometimes too, you'll hear someone go, loading, when they're taking their gun out. So there's a lot of, a, a lot of battle chatter. People, you know, quick one, one and two words. Yeah. Uh, to let everybody know, it does give it away to the enemy, but it, it also means your friends can can help you out. So, um, so that's a that's a hit. Um, so five to ten, well done. Uh, Thirty three points. Um, so that's uh, seventeen on the skin suit and sixteen on the on the uh, on the dude. Is it, do you concur? Uh, it sounds good. And if she's got a little bit of movement left, she'll just take a little step back to the away side from the way. machine gun. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, what did I say? 17 and 16, didn't I? Um, so it's three. Okay. Um, so I'll get everybody rolling issues uh, now, please. Battle chatter, battle talk. Yeah, well, yeah, and that's why they do it in the video games. It's not quite that loud in real life. Um, it's 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 especially you want your people. You just want you just want the guys nearby to be able to, you know, cover you. Know that you're not available to shoot when yeah. So you don't all re, you don't both reload at the same instant and, and have no fire going in. But yes, but no, the video games is that's 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 to let the players know that they can charge in and attack. Why'd you roll twice, Cat? Is that a mistake? No reason. No reason. I just double clicked by accident. Yeah, that's okay. No, that's cool. I just, I, I just wondered if there was a reason. Three, so seven, and Jazz is seventeen again. Is that everybody? Thirteen, eleven, eight, nine, and of course the security bot itself. Now listen, guys. Um, I hate to do this, um, but quick five-minute bathroom break. I'm busting for. Yep. No problem. Right. Um, Works I'll back for me. Five.
stay on back. Everybody else back, or we still people still out? I'm back. You're back. Oh dear. Um, yeah. Uh, what about everybody else? Are they all back yet or not? Ice cream is complete. <laughs> Ice cream's complete. And eaten, I bet. In the process. You know how to make people jealous, don't you, Paul? I've got a shit eating grin. Yeah, I bet you have. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my ice cream. Yeah. It's right out front waiting for you. Uh, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> yeah, one. by the way, um, I don't know how often you guys check things out in terms of my websites. Um, I know the last time you mentioned it, Cerise, you couldn't you, you couldn't get anywhere anything out of the Star Frontiers website. Yep, that right. Yeah, that was a long time ago, though. Yeah, well, I haven't done much. For what? The Star Frontiers website? Yeah. Um, that, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it is offline. I know that for a fact. Um, uh, over, the next, uh, over the next little, over the next couple of days, week, over the next week or so, because I can't do it every day, um, there'll be more and more, of the, more and more of the website going back up. Um, I've revamped it um, to make it uh, run smoother and look better, um, hopefully. Um, so, uh, not just the Star Frontier site, but the Shadowrun site, all the, the whole, the, all, the whole, all of them, um, redoing all of them completely. Um, the URL may change slightly, um, so just be aware of that. Um, I think I've got the DNS entries in properly to fix, fix for that. Um, so, um, but just be aware, that, but just be aware of that. Um, if in if in doubt, you can always get to uh, you can always get to the sites from the MatthewJ.Black site or the PeregrineIT.Net site. You can always get because there's always links into them. If you can't get them into any, into them any other way, um, so yeah. Um, so I just thought I'd mention that while we're waiting for everyone to come back, um, just to make sure everybody is um, uh, people are aware that you know all, all this stuff's going back in. And on that, if you happen to spot an error or whatever can you just shoot me a quick email a spelling mistake or something that doesn't work or a broken link or whatever can you just shoot me a quick email and i'll get it fixed as quick as i can um, um yeah does that make sense thank you good hopefully mm -hmm. um, everybody everybody back yep yep okay so uh in that case round two jazz you're up again Oh, uh, yeah, I was looking to see if he had something besides a laser weapon. No. I have a sonic board. Well, yeah, I don't want to go into melee. So he he <laughs> will draw his uh, sword and... Oh, actually... Uh, oh, that's in storage. Okay. Yeah, he will draw his sword and, and wait. Okay. And you turn when you're ready, please. Uh, so the bot... Um, takes a takes a takes a couple of shots at cat. Uh, one's a critical hit, but not a knockout because it's not that type of critical hit. Uh, and the other one's a miss. Um, so cat with a laser rifle. Oops, one more. Uh, 34 points of damage. Cool. Uh, what's that? Seven. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you worked that one out. Yeah, it is. I'll leave that for, I'll leave that for you to work out. Uh, so that. All right, like that. Okay, uh, and that's his turn. So, Voke, you're up. Uh, your machine gun. Sh uh, is the machine gun in place? Okay. Yeah, well, it's not quite right there. Yeah. No, no, not doing. Uh, yes, yes, but at minus 20. Because you're, you're still getting into position. Yeah. You're rushing it.
All right, minus 10 for the machine gun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's a miss, mate, based on that. Uh, knock, don't forget to knock the ammo off. Uh, Babu, what are you doing? I'll continue on with the uh, A gunner. Okay. But, um, uh, since it's pretty much all I got to do is pull another belt out if he needs it. I'm going to have my four sacks ready. Okay. You're not, you're not shooting while you, no. while, okay, that's fine. Uh, end your turn, please. Doc, I believe you're next. In which case, what are you doing? Uh, well, maybe we should uh, start prepping the shuttle. Re I'll, I'll prompt Resi to take a look and take a look around. Other than that, I'm just waiting for the call for medic. Right. Okay. Um, as I said, as I said earlier, the shuttle is um, there's a there's a, 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 a component missing out of the cockpit, so it's probably not flight worthy. Well, we're looking for it then. Okay. All right. Does uh, Resi so know what that component is? I mean, is it radio or is it guidance? No, or? it's, it's definitely, well, well, she'll have to have a look at it. So it'll, I'll, yeah, I, we'll, I'll let okay. you know when she finds it. Yeah. Um, Kat, you're another burst, I take it? Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so another 16 points. That's eight and eight. Okay, um, and then you turn, and that would be Cerise's go when you when you're ready. All three, we well done. Okay, so eight, twelve, and nine. So that's ten, and a bit more. Um, and uh, the nine breaks down into five and four. Okay, the skin suit's the skin suit's basically blown away with all that de without all that damage it's taken so far. Um, so our, our initiative rounds, guys, please initiative, please for everybody. And the security bot. Babu, you're up. I am going to put my four sacks in front of me and then ready another belt of ammunition. Belt of lethal fluid. Okay, you can do that. No worries. End your turn when you're ready. Cat and the security robot are going to go at the same time. Cat, what are you doing? Uh, she may as well reload. Oh, she's got to reload uh, and drop prone a little bit because drop to one knee. She's or prone. Just, uh, may as well go prone. Okay. Um, prone and reload. Okay, you can do that. Yeah. No worries. End your turn when you're ready. Otherwise, she's just getting shot at for no return. Well, you're going to get shot at for no return anyway. But uh, apparently, the robot deems that because Cat needs to reload. He's been counting bullets. Robots can do that. Um, he's gonna have, he's gonna shoot um, instead at um, a new target, and this one's Babu. Sorry, Babs. So the first shot uh, is a hit, and the second shot is also a hit. The first shot does. Uh, These are laser rifle. Right? Yeah, uh, it does twenty-seven points, and the Oops, that, ignore that, ignore that. Uh, and the second shot does uh, 43 points of damage.
Uh, and that's his go. Doc? Um, I didn't hear a I cry. Think... No, you haven't heard a cry, so I'm assuming you're holding your action? Yeah, I'm waiting for someone to call for it. Okay, Jazz. Well, Whoops, sorry, that was... I hit it at the same time you did. Jazz, you're up. All right. Uh, Jazz is just going to edge up, staying out of range. Mm-hmm. Cerise and Vote. You're both going simultaneously. What are you doing, Cerise? Shooting. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Nicely done. Except that is the wrong damage. All right. One, two, and three. So 20, 12, and 10. So 42 points of damage. Okay. Um, the security robot is. Uh, well, now go. Have you have your turn? Have your turn, um, Vote? Because it's simultaneous, as I said. Nope. I saw an 87, is what I saw. So, initiatives, please, people. So, Doc's on an 8. And Cat's on a 15. And Jazz is on a 5. Uh, 13 for Voke. Uh, nine it should be eight. getting close, close to smoke. Yeah, he's he's there. Yeah, he's looking. He's pretty damaged. He's he's pretty damaged. Uh, why do you roll twice, Jazz? Which is you and which is Cerise? Uh, interesting. Yeah, not necessarily. Yeah, so well, yours, the, Jazz the, the higher the, bonus. Yeah, Jazz is a thirteen, which makes you a five. I must have switched before it finished rolling dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Kat, you're up. Uh, you should be reloaded by now. Yep. Yeah, I'll put the burst on and see when I finish it okay. off. Go if you like. No, you won't. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So uh, Jazz and Vogue are both going simultaneously. What are you doing, Jazz? Um, don't, forget, don't forget, you can't see it, so you don't know how damaged it is. Yeah, he's just, he's waiting. Okay, Vogue? <laughs> okay. Uh, 40 apple. And that, that puts the, uh, that, that, that does put the security bot um, out of its misery. But uh, I wanted spare it. parts. You wanted spare parts. Not from that. So there you go. Uh, where are we? Let's reset that. Um, so yes, yeah, so the security body is, is, is gone. Um, so, uh, for those of you who have not acted yet this round, is there anything you want to, you would like to do? Reload. Core for medic, for example. I think everybody's got albedo suits. screens. Yeah. Oh, do you? Okay. There you go. Wish I'd known I, that. I would have I stopped hearing weapons. shooting. Hey? I said I stopped hearing any shooting, so I'll go to investigate. Yeah. Um, no, uh, Rezzy Rez, 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 Rez says yes, with that component um, that is missing. Uh, it looks like someone's taken it out for repair. It is, the, the shuttle, shuttle won't fly with it, without it. We don't have any parts. I can't jury rig it, um, and I can't find, a, uh, find it on the shuttle. The princess is in another castle. No. <laughs> uh, so you've got this door in front of you. What, what, what would you like to do, gentlemen? Open Folks, it. stay there and stay right, trained on, and then I'll go in and check for alarms. Okay, go for your life. Check for alarms, check for traps, same thing. Yep. Not with that roll. Oh, God, you still... Um, hang on, slow down, slow down. Don't roll the deactivate if there's no if there's no need, dude. Uh, there are no alarms on that. So um, right. you may open it if you wish. 
Uh, it was a level three lock, so uh, yes, managed to get it open. Um, and when you do so, um, you can see another door about five minutes further down, similar to the first two. So Jazz will come now, in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you go on, at one point somebody said something about checking out the computer on the shuttle. That is a good point. Is this unusual so to have this many doors? Like, um, what is well, Jazz could, Jazz could probably answer that. Um, the answer is not unusual. Not if you're highly... As I said, it's not a, it's not that unusual. Um, don't forget that this these could be acting th these doors could be acting as an airlock as well. Yeah, it's just the the three doors is weird. Two doors, sure. But yeah, I'll go check out the computer. You want to go check out the computer? Would you? Okay, so are we are we leaving the doors for a second? Is that right? All right, so you're staying there with the machine gun train, right? That's fine, but it, but you, but you're not you're not progressing any further down there until Cat comes back with a report from the computer. Is that right? Sure. Okay, or so says something over the com. Oh, why over the com? Yeah, same thing. Okay, so um, you get into the shuttle. Um, hang on a sec. I just gotta just give me just give me two seconds, guys. Hell's diagram four. Oh, that's diagram four. Okay, that makes sense. No, no, no. It's just, it's it, no. It's just, it's just not. It's just labelled funnily. Um, it's just labelled, labelled strangely. That's all. Uh, so. Yeah. 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 Hang on a second. Um, so um, it's it's a what I think it was a level four. I think it's a level four. Just let me confirm that, mate. Um, oh, god, no! It's only a level one. It's only a shuttle computer. It's a level one computer, mate. So first of all, access and you know the you know the drill. Um, so yep, you can operate it. Yes. Um, do you want to do, you want to do anything else? What are you doing else? Let's see. Display info. Okay. Um, um, so it's a small flight computer, obviously. Uh, there are two sets of coordinates, right? And um, a series of diagrams, which I'll give to you in a moment. Um, other than that, uh, there's a series of codes and security bypass codes, security access codes. Okay. And no information on what those codes are for? No. Uh, but based with the diagram, which I'll give you in a moment, um, it seems to be some sort of um, a, a, a base on the moon or one, one of the moons. Yeah, the okay, moon cool. Yep. Okay. Uh, but the coordinates do not appear to be stellar coordinates. They appear to be ground coordinates. Ew. Possibly. Um, uh, somebody with some sort of navigation um, or an environmentalist, for example, um, or, or something, someone, or something, you know, any, any skills anyone can come up with to help, in, to help, to help interpret them, those coordinates would be possibly be helpful they're flight coordinates but they're not necessarily space coordinates yeah anyone else I'm looking martial arts no <laughs> all right I mean 
that... we got two we got two engineers a computer scientist who also has maths and physics uh what what would you like out of all of that yeah no i i'd, I'd like uh navigation if you've got it but you haven't so you can't uh, or survival because it's you know orienteering things like that that's okay Resi there's says, no, there's Resi... no way any character is going to have astrogation skills at this point in time. I didn't say astrogation, I said navigation. Um, oh. But that's okay. Uh, Resi, has a, Resi, Resi, Resi has a look at it, and after a while she says, well, this set here um, appears to be this traitor. And this set here, um, it seems to be a point on Sirtes, which is the second moon uh Kraritar's second moon so that's got to be artemis base possibly so yeah. check for any recognition codes yes there are a series of security and access codes um in the in the shuttle computer cool and there's no secure information on here it's all just pretty in the clear yeah, well, it's all pretty in the clear. Yeah, I mean, you know, once you get past the, once you get a, once you get access to the thing, which you did. Um, so, give me a second. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Okay. Um, so, um, let me um, let me give you some of these. Let me just uh, give you some of these. Uh, um, Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Um, so that's uh, that's part well, that's part of the diagram. Hang on. Whoops. <laughs> Might have I did this. Um, that's part of the diagram. So over that one of the diagrams you get uh, you get um, um, given you get out of the computer. Yep. Right. Um, and that's another one. Um, that you get out of the com that you get out of the computer. Okay. Did we from er, from our earlier stuff? Was there a? Do we know if there was a single missile or multiple missiles? Only one, apparently. Apparently, it's all they need. Is what they think. Is what they're thinking. Okay. So you guys have a look at those, study those, and I'll get the others to you um, as quickly as I can. Okay. Um. I oh, better still I'll do it this way. I don't know how good this is going to be, but we'll see. Uh, frequency grounds, frequency grounds, frequency grounds, campaigns. Uh, where's the Mega Dawn? There it is. So one, four, and five look like landing pads, gentlemen. Um, they have the retractable docking tubes into pressure areas. Three is maybe some sort of rail access to the railway system. Looks like six is maybe an observation deck. Eight is fuel. Seven might be some sort of lounge or ready rooms, both of them. Yeah, six could, well, but it doesn't have an airlock. Two could be, well, actually you're right, because two and six could be open to space. And then the the airlock is into three. No, that doesn't make sense because there's an airlock to seven. The lower seven. 
course, these are maps from Well, they're probably the technical refueling areas, technicians. Yeah, and that's probably. There's inner security doors from the docks. Except for. Well, not all, not except into area seven. Security doors into area three. So I I think two is a uh, two and six maybe. Our observation areas. All right, guys. Listen, this is pretty damn big in terms of space. So it's going to take a while to come through. Okay. Um, okay. But be uh, be aware of that. Oh shit! Don't tell me this. Hang on. And I don't think we really care one way or another about the power plants. Honestly, I think the carousel is probably where the missiles launch. So I think that's all we care about. We're about to lose FG, guys. Sorry about that. I crashed the system. Okay, here it comes back up again. Anybody else have any conclusions from the first image? Uh... I mean, what was discussed seems all pretty reasonable. Um, oh, now it's gone. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry about. Well, that. if we want things to go boom, it looks like number seven is our primary objective. Well, I think we have to go get to the missile. I mean, well, I guess we have two. We have two options. We can try to get to the missile and stop the missile launch, or we could go to the plant, the power plant, and try to blow up the whole moon. I think stopping the missile is probably the better route. Mm -hmm. I think I agree with you. Yeah, that might cause, you know, gravitational problems. Mm -hmm. Just slightly. Is FG up on your side, Matt? Yeah, it's up now. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, don't give me this. I get for dealing with super large files. She is a temperamental beast when it comes to those large files. Yeah, she is. That's why FG, FGU is supposed to improve all that, supposedly. So I haven't got this on FGU yet. Yeah, it seems people have been pretty reliable up to 10 megabyte files. Yeah, hang on. This is going down again. Sorry, guys. Try this again. Wow, about 10, 10 megs? About, about 10, you reckon? I'm trying to cap out around four. Well, they were complaining that their their image files on disk were 10 megabytes and they were having connection issues. Yeah, do I need it? Need it. Well, it, what, the original file was close to a gig. So let me reduce it down a bit. I'll get it under 10. All right, let's try that. While we're waiting, what uh, what are some of the programs you guys use to make maps? Um, campaign cartographer is the one I use primarily. Yeah, same. I've got I've got most of the um most of, most of the add-ons for it. Um, it's it's probably the best one. Um, a lot of the, uh, uh, that's when I'm not using the the maps that come with the with, with the adventures. You know what I mean? Let us know when you're back up, Matt, when we should join. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, I like CC3. Um, it has a life shelf life, though. Oh, I don't know. Why do you say that? Because it's built on FastCAD 32, and they have no intention 
to upgrade it to a 64-bit kernel. I don't know. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, I mean, it's not that they don't have the intention. It's they don't have the skill set, and the cost is prohibitive. Yeah. Um, so you know, they they bought the fast CAD thirty two kernel years ago when that CAD program went under. Yeah. So the original developer isn't around. Um. That's a shame. Yeah. So they still, would, 30, 32 bit. You can still do some pretty nice maps out of a 32 bit system. Oh, yeah. You can do awesome stuff out of it, but eventually the OSs are going to have trouble with it, right? Oh, yeah, but I couldn't see that happening for a while. Well, can you? Macintosh just disallowed 32 bit OS or applications with their oh, Catalina. Yeah, it's not, I don't think that that's too far away. You can't. It's very hard to get a 32-bit Linux distribution anymore. Um, That's true. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, it's not. I mean, but I mean, you can still run 32-bit program. You still run 16-bit programs on on 32-bit on 64-bit um, operating systems. They just don't work very well. Yeah. So, yeah but well, a, and it, CAD, it was. Yeah, I am. By the way, I'm not. I'm not. I am still trying to get this sorted, guys. It's, um, yeah, I figured. Yeah, I was curious. Does Windows uh, does better backwards compatibility than Mac does. They No, that's not that's a given. If anyone had been using this uh dungeon draft. Um I have played with it a few times. It's not bad. I still prefer CAD I still prefer um um campaign control, is it? Personally. But that's me. Yeah, uh, some of those are those are looking nice. Um FG has a learning curve, but once you learn it, it's so incredibly fast to FG get. FG or campaign cartographer. Campaign cartographer to but get both actually, right? <laughs> well, to to get a huge variety of styles and effects like shadows and lighting areas yeah. and yeah. well, which one of the, the other guys I... don't. Yeah, one of the things cancel it. Uh, it is map six one. Is it? What's it? No, it's not that one. Um, the one of the one one of the things I've been I looked at the other day was um. Oh, I've been look, looking not like the other day, but whatever. Um, there it is. Bloody M four. Got to get rid of that. Um. Was um or is a better way of saying it. Um. Uh, the three D um dungeon the three D dungeon parts. Have you seen those? Nope. Um, uh, you, you, um, oh, what do they call it? Can't it's called now. Dra uh, Dragon Forge. Huh? No. Yeah. Um, they're on. Uh, have a look at them on. Um, on. Uh, huh? No, Dragon. Oh, it could be, but it's I, I thought it was dra called Dragon Forge. It's on. Um, on. Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, as a three D mapping uh, program. No, no, no. As three as three D as three D three D blocks. In miniature scale. Oh yeah, that's Dwarven Forge. Dwarven Forge, use Dwarven Forge. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so they Dwarven Forge that, that, is an old classmate of mine, actually. Is he? Yep. Oh really? Good. Can you, can you get me anything? Um, the I I picked up all the three D, the three D printing printer maps for them. Purchased them. Actually purchased them as, uh, uh, off um off of um. Um, 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 RPG. Um, now what's the bloody website where you buy RPG shit? Drive through. Drive through. Yeah, I purchased them all off drive through. Um, now why did that not? Oh, you son of a bitch. So I've got problems here, guys. I'm, I do apologize for this. All right, let's see if that works. Um, yeah, so I picked up all. The, I don't have a three D printer, but I picked up all the maps because uh, when I get back face to face with some face to face gaming, I want to. I want to do some stuff uh, around that. So, and they were special at the time too, so which is good. So, um, if anyone's got a three D printer and want to print out some of these things, let me know and I'll give you the files. No, I won't. I won't do that because we're going live to the uh, uh, the uh, thing. 
Um, what's happening with the Amiga bill? Uh, sorry. Um, uh, that would be illegal, and I, and I don't condone illegal practice, so I won't be doing that at all. Yeah, but what about the uh, what about the the, uh, the the voices going out? Yeah, exactly. So I won't be doing that because that's illegal, and I wouldn't do anything like that that, that was illegal because that would be wrong. <laughs> yeah, there's also um, if you do 3D stuff, I forget. I think I downloaded them a year or two ago. There was somebody on one of the. It wasn't Shapeways, but it was one of the. 3D file sharing sites, not illegal right. file sharing, but the gen yeah. genuine ones that had made 3D models of all the monster manual, all the D&D &D yeah, monster I, manual I, creatures. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, right. and up shared them for free. No worries. This is, yeah, gentlemen, we are up. So, finally. Sorry it took me so long. I was having all sorts of problems trying to get this in-game thing sorted. But we are up. And um, I am sharing diagram four. I'll do it, I'll do it properly because we won't we won't be able to work with this stuff. Um, but uh, yeah. And also, still give me, um, still give me one kiss. one of the Toms has done all of the uh, Star Frontiers uh, ships in three D models. Oh, oh, have they? Are they for free or are they or are they for purchase? Um, the, the STL files, I believe are free, but he yeah. will print them and print them, out. Print them at and them out. minimal cost. Yeah. Mm. If you find that, or if you know where it is, can you let me know? Cause I'd love, to, I'd love to have, I'd love to grab the 3D, the 3D, the, 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 the 3D printing files. Yeah. Okay. So that's diagram four. All right. Um, uh, sorry, it took me a while to get it to you. <laughs> and yes, it's quite large. So, um, uh, so that's 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 what you find. That's what you see. Oh, okay. Zone one, zone two, zone three. I don't think you shared diagram three, but I don't think we need it with this one. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do. Uh, well, I didn't. Well, you, diagram three is different. Something else. Did you mean zone three? No. Just because I think it was diagram one, two, and three. Yeah, well, diagram, well, yeah, possibly. But three anyway. is not applicable to us. Okay. <laughs> no, not at the moment. Uh, and you can see over on uh, in uh, to the bottom right hand corner of that diagram um, how it all fits together. Yeah. I was afraid this was going to be bad quality. This is pretty good. Well, it's close to t it's close to ten meg in size, um, but I mean the original the original file was oh huge. Um, I think I, re I I think I had to reduce it down past twenty percent, and it's still still pretty big. That's why I had, that's why I had it broken up into zone one, zone two, and I can't find what I did with zone three, four, and five, or the carousel. To tell you the truth. Well, you shared the carousel with us. Did I? Yeah, transport tunnel zone two. Yeah, oh, no, no, I'm talking, the carousel. I'm talking, I'm talking zone. I'm talking about zone six. I'm talking about the zone six stuff. So that's what you spot. That, that's what you. That's what Cat manages to drag out of the um, drag out of the uh, the computer. Very nice, Cat. We need that. So we have to pass through the habit zone before we. Go to the missile silo. Maybe we can pass straight through if we're lucky. It looks like there's a rail car system in between the zones. Well, so if you look look in the dark side of the moon of Artemis Base. You can see that little diagram. So we land at one, and we'll take the car to two, to six, to five. I don't think there's any reason for us to go to three and four. 
unless we're going to blow up the moon. Yeah, our life support, but yeah, hopefully not. Cut out, cut out, cut out power to the to the missile silo. For as a pipe, I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Yes. So yeah. Anyway, so that's 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 what that's that's the diagram you find. That's the diagram you'll uh, you'll be working from. Um, if you need, well, or, or subsets thereof, um, as the case may be. Um, so, yeah, does that make notice sense to everybody? The, yeah, notice the security cameras at 13 in zone 5 and the security doors. Mm -hmm. So, meanwhile, back on the ground. All right. Um, and, uh, right before you leave the computer, anything else you want to do, Kat? No, that's about right. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess our mission right now is to find uh, the missing piece somehow in this service depot or whatever it is. <laughs> um, depot. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, does Did Resi tell us what that piece is? And how uh, we should no, be looking for it? No, she didn't. But I mean, I can. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously, it, it's obviously, uh, um, well, it's, it's not actually listed here um, what it is. So you can assume it's, it's a vital piece of flight equipment, flight electronics. Um, and the, the, fact, the fact that it was unplugged, as opposed to ripped, the cables were, yeah, you know, the, the cables had plugs on them which were empty, as opposed to, you know, being torn. The assumption is it's been, it, 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 it's down for repair. Isn't that was the assumption anyway? Got it. Okay. Um, it's so the yeah. fuel control module. You know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. So you've got this. You've got this third door in front of you. Oh, I just realised that the map's been masked that off because it wasn't saved because we crashed the system. So you've got the third door. Um, there we go. Um, um, are you going to open up? What are you going to do? How's it, how, you, how are you all proceeding? Where are we all standing around on the, uh, on the map, token-wise? And away we go. Yeah, so Cerise is going to check for alarms and uh, going to make sure that Voke has a clean line to shoot. Well, it's going to be difficult. I mean, it's only a five-meter-wide corridor, yeah, so... You're going to try and stay to the side, I take it. Is that right? Yeah. And then I'll have um, Jazz right behind me, I guess. Unless you want to come up to the other door, Vogue. That door? Yep. What about the other three of you? The other three that we haven't moved yet. Wherever you guys want to be. Okay. All right. Um, so you want to give me a, 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 a an alarm detection check, please? And also looking to see if there's any cameras. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hey, Kitty. Sorry, I didn't really not see when you came in. I hope you're still there, Kitty. If you are, give us a message. Uh, and don't don't just lurk. <laughs> So if I see the door closing, I'll step in. Yeah, okay. Um, so no, there are no alarm defences, but uh, yes, the uh, the system is set up in such a way that the, the second and third doors form an airlock. So the third door won't open until the second door is closed. Mm-hmm. Is the door locked or do we just have to operate it? Uh, no, it's, it's got a level three lock on it, like the, like the first one does. But you've got to close the first one first, which I'm assuming you're doing. Yep, once yeah. everybody's so the, where the, they want to be. Rip. One in. What was that for? The 98 on the open lock. 
Yes, you can't open that lock, I'm afraid. It's a level three lock. Sure. Okay, so you guys swap out. And it's a level three lock. So you're not successful. So what are you going to do? Uh, I'm looking to see how much explosive Jazz has. <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's an airlock. I don't think, you, I don't think you're going to open up an airlock, are you? Why? Okay, so do we go away and go back to town? Uh, what choice? If we can't get the door open, book the next interstellar, uh, next flight off planet. Good idea. I mean, we can't try the locks again, right? Not the way you're doing it now, no. So unless somebody else has another idea, the only idea I have is to blow it. I'm totally yeah. open and would love another idea. That's right. That, 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 is, that is what you try. Um, there's an alternative thing of uh, walking above the crater on the ground and seeing if it just doesn't open up to another open passageway on the other side. Um, we don't know for sure that this is going into an underground place, a fully underground place that there's no other access. Yeah, that's a good call. So it's, it's up to you guys. If you don't want to blow the door, then we have to go search the, go climb up above, search around I, I, and see if. My main concern is that I don't, do we know whether this is able to be blown up without collapsing the entire tunnel and uh, it being useless? Well, do an um, engineering role. I'll do a military role. Can everyone give me an intuition role, please? No, an intuition. And this would be a demo to figure out uh, about the explosive. I'm guessing this is the best role to use. I don't know. I got diffuse and I got set. Uh, well, they're both the same, aren't they? No, one's 88, one's 48. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, it'd be part of set. I think we're fine. Uh, Kat, can I have you over in the private room for a second, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. I mean, downside of blowing an airlock, we're on the planet, right? So, it's a weaker app. Yeah, it's, no, it's not like there's a vacuum in, on the other side. It's probably more of a biological research. I mean, that's the User only joined your channel. User joined reason your channel. I can see. Cat uh, had a wild thought of... Uh, why don't we go back and check the computer to see if any of the codes work on this door? Oh, there you go. Is that so what you're doing? Do we doing? Go, go back or just have Rizzy calm the codes to us that are there? Either way, it's good. I'll get you to give. I'll get you to give me uh, an information role, please, Ben. Yeah, uh, just for the, for the, you know. Oh, 
it still works. Right. It was a level. It still minor. works. It just wasn't around. Uh, yes, uh, yes, they do. They, they, there are some codes. Uh, there are. There is an access. Uh, a, a twelve-digit access code um, for a um, uh, for uh, something called uh, um, GB um, or GBSE, ground-based, possibly. Um, so uh, Resi reads those numbers over the over the uh, the comm unit to you, and I'm assuming you punch them into the lock. Yep. And the door opens. There's still right. time to blow it. Still time to blow. <laughs> I mean, Jazz is like, I carry this stuff around. Don't I get to use it? All right. So that's the area that you can see from, from the doorway. Jazz and Babu, do you want to lead the way? Will do. Okay, so you get to that point there. Where's everybody else going? Okay, you really don't have a shot. Vote with a machine gun. You're gonna get your you'll get your own team from that yeah, if you fire. No, no, it's a contour line. No, we need to stay spread out. I mean, we're pretty close as it is. Okay. So that's what you see from your position there, gentlemen. Go till they can see. So we can see down the next hall. Okay. You want to move yourself up, Cerise? No. And Doc, you're going to stay there, are you? Yeah, it's here. Okay, that's what you can see there, gentlemen. Okay. Jazz, you're moving forward as well? All right. Where's everybody else going? Okay. So... Uh, this it, it, this is all natural. It appears to be natural ca cave that's been reinforced or, or or mined out where necessary. Um, you get to the corner there, um, and I'm afraid, Babs, um, there's a, a human in one of these sky blue um, uniforms uh, that like was that was on the shuttle. Um, um, there appears to be some sort of communication or radio room. But before you can take much else in, um, she shoots you twice with a uh, a laser pistol. Um, for a total of uh, 24 and 21 points of damage. I will now get initiative rolls off you, please. Because you walked into that one. <laughs> well, not really, but anyway. Uh, so you guys can see the, uh, you see a, the a double flash of two laser two laser uh, shots from up ahead um, and um, I don't know what uh, Babu has gotten in a way of um, uh, uh, protection against the laser, if anything. I'm assuming oh, he I has. My screen on. Yeah, okay. So in that way you need to uh, go there. Um, I'll call it what it is. Um, so yes, um, so can I get uh, so initiative? So Doc got a seven, and Jazz Cat uh, got a seven, and Cat got a seven, and Cat got a seven, and Jazz got a seventeen, and Babu 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 got a six, and Cerise. Got a fourteen, and vote got a four. No, vote got a fourteen. Three's got a. Oh, you both got fourteen. 
And uh, so let's see. Right, Jazz. What do you want to do? Um, there's a lot of electronic. There's a lot of uh, military uh, uh, radio. What appears to be radio equipment in this room. Um, I don't know if that's going. I, I don't know if that's a concern of yours about hitting the radio equipment with stray shots and things like that. But it's up to you. Yeah, that's a concern. But I'm going to shoot her. Make the roll. Okay, what you, uh, what SEU you set on? Ten. Mm -hmm. You're a nasty person. You killed her. She shot first. You were attacking her. Well, you attacked her friends. <laughs> all right. Well, so much for so much for loading all, loading all that up. But anyway, there we go. Um. So, um, what do you guys uh, what do you guys want to do? Well, so Jazz wants to move forward and and secure the next. Well, move forward then. And where is everybody else moving? I'll go give her a good once over. Yeah, she's definitely dead. Uh, there's a closed door. Closed so listen at the door. Hang on, one at a time, guys. What was that? Listen at the door. What was the other part? I does she have anything like a belt or anything on the belt or any loot the no, bodies? Uh, she, she had a dose grenade, uh, the laser pistol, uh, which has got obviously um, a, a, a partially used clip in it, and she also has two other two other clips. Uh, fully, fully, fully okay. Powered. Did anything look like a key or? No, nothing looks like a key. No. Are um, she was, or anything? Uh, uh, no, no, just one of the blue uniforms, one of those light blue uniforms I mentioned that came out of the shuttle. You know the ones? And everybody's um, human? Uh, yeah, she's human, human female, yeah. Sorry. Um, she appears to have been trying to use the radio. Uh, there's a radio and a subspace radio. There's a radio and a subspace radio here. Um, Uh, she looked like she was trying to use the radio, but it's going to take somebody with operate uh, operate equipment to uh, to determine what what was happening. I'll do, I guess I do that. Uh, listening at the door, you don't hear anything. Wait, is that is that technician operate? Yes, yeah, one. Okay, uh, she appears she was trying to call somebody on the subspace radio. Um, so that probably means Artemis Space, because you know a radio would um, would uh, would take too long. Um, but you note uh, that there's um, a bit of a, um, a solar flare on at the moment, uh, a, a stellar flare, solar flare, which would be uh, the magnetic um, uh, ejection would be um, interfering with radio communications. And subspace and radio communications, both. So you don't think the message got through? Okay. So I want to pick up channels, and if there's any, again, if there's any authorization codes, frequencies, uh, so that we can duplicate, and if there's a radio log book. Uh, there is a radio log. Um, the last entry in the radio log, uh, in the radio log, um, saying that. Uh, the shuttle's going to be down for a couple of days uh, due to some needed repairs. And that was dated uh, uh, early yesterday. Okay, we'll take the logbook. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the, 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 there's other communications back and forth and things like that as well, but that's the one that seems most relevant anyway. And are there any communication codes or anything like that? 
Um, uh, uh, there's a few call sign codes, things like that, but nothing you didn't have from the shuttle. Okay, thanks. Yeah, okay. So what about doing that this door? The door opens away from you to the to the left, by the way. Did, did we hear noise from the other side? No, you didn't hear a thing. All right, we'll open it, I guess. Okay. That's all you can see so far. So Jazz will go low. Okay. Um, this appears to be uh, standard, standard sleeping and living quarters. Um, there's a rather large portable stove as such, um, so semi-portable stove. Um, some bunk beds, um, benches, table, you know, things like that. A book, couple of bookcases, but nothing of interest. Nobody present? You, nobody's present, no. Apart from you guys. Listen again. Again, you can't hear anything. So, unless you want to open the door, Babs, Jazz will. Up to you. Uh, maybe better for you, then I can shoot. All right. Then I'll open the door. Okay. Um, and step out of Jazz's way. Yeah, that I gathered. <laughs> Uh, you can see part of a bench against the uh, eastern wall. Move in, going low. Okay. Again, this appears to be a uh, maintenance area. Um, there are a number of benches against the wall. There's another number of bits and pieces against those benches. Um, anything else you want? You want to? What do you want to do? Any uh, boxes or work? Uh, piece from the uh, shuttle might be. Well, that'll that'll require one of the uh, one of the tech, one, at least someone with some technical skill to to have a have, have a have a search. But they seem to be more interested in seeing in checking out doors first, but that's okay. Oops, first one. Yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, against one of the benches, um, there there's um, the, uh, the the electronic component that appears to be out of the shuttle, um, and it appears to be um, ready to go back into the shuttle. Um, it appears to have been whatever was done to it. It appears to have been finished up, just uh, and and just needs to be reinstalled. Okay, I will take it with us. <laughs> Funny that. Opening the door. Yep. That's what you see. All right, Jazz and. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the room is empty. It's, it's an empty room, empty chamber, empty cave. That's a search roll, mate, please. No, there are no hollow screens. Yeah, Jazz will help search it too, just to make sure it's fully empty. Yeah, no, it's fully empty. All right. Probably was a supply room that they've moved Storage everything room. out. Possibly. It's certainly it's certainly the type of place you'd use for a storeroom or a sub, yeah. All right, let's toss um, S three. Just in looking again for any personal documents or IDs or letters home or. No, none of it. None of that at all. Okay. pretty good okay so okay. I guess we go back to the shuttle and put in the part all right well that's gonna take about an hour and it's gonna require a repair roll unless Rizzy wants to do it I think uh, I'm the best yeah no you she's a pilot she's gonna repair. no you're not you know
Yep. That's better. So um, it's all it's all ready to go. Rizzy so says that... she can fly it and uh, f fly it, and uh, she also says that um, um, it'll take about twelve hours. So if I can suggest Cat and Doc and maybe Jazz put on the uniforms. Yeah, I was. Well, I was well one of them, one of them's got one of them, one of them's got a, a two laser holes in it. I'll wear the yeah. one with the laser holes. <laughs> put some I'll bandages like, you know, on. No. Put some bandages on, like you've been wounded and and. Throw yeah. my arms up and run towards the enemy. Well, no, but put some bandages on. Like, okay, you were shot, but you know, some doctor has patched you up. I patched me up. Okay, so I'll do it. Anyone hurt? Nope. Nope. Make sure you, if you uh, used up power, put a new belt pack on or whatever you use for your screens. Uh, anyway, I was yeah. questioning whether we should move our stash from the Explorer into the shuttle because it has a cargo bay, right? It yeah, can't be smaller yeah. than the Explorer. It does indeed. It does indeed have a cargo bay. Or cargo area, not a bay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If that's what you want to do. Yeah, we'll fine. do that. All right. All right. So um, where's everybody sitting? I will sit co-pilot. I thought you, thought you might. I think Babu will be back by the door. Or wherever Back in the, the, past, in the entrance door is, just to be a yeah. uh, little bit of security there. Yeah, that's okay. You're all cargo. Well, that's a nice way of saying it. That is. All right. Um, so you're up in the cockpit. Anyone else in the cockpit? Nah. Well, there's an engineering. There's a space for an engineer. And or cat to operate computer. Uh, not probably not necessary. It's pretty. It's basically about to punch it in and fly it. All right, no worries. What a uh, cat! You don't want to. You don't want to take the nav the nav position or. Uh, I mean, how many chairs are there in the cockpit? Four, four, four. Oh, four yeah, four spots in the cockpit. May as well. Yep. All right. Well, that means Doc and Babs are back in the passenger compartment. Yep. Mm-hmm. That means Doc and Babu are back in the passenger compartment. Correct. And and somebody else. Jazz. And Jazz, that was it. And no um, spacesuits, right? No. Yep. So before we, well, I, since we have twelve hours, we can figure out our plan. Mm-hmm that oh by the way um once you get the electronic system up and running um a display on the um console um, uh, um, um not a primary not a primary display a second yeah you know, like a secondary secondary display off to one side um near the uh near the uh where cat would be sitting as the astrogator whatever um, uh, lights up and starts counting down um, and how much time is on that um, it's hard to say uh, it looks somewhere around 13 14 hours okay so let's assume that's the missile launch or whatever they're gonna call it v-day v-day Mm -hmm. Or no more V Day. No more V Day. Um, so yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, you ready to go? So yep. before before we go, guys, or as we go. 
do we want to notify anybody? I don't think we have anybody we trust, do we? Not yet. And we don't really have secure communications with them. Yeah, that's right. But I just want to put it out there. All right. Um, so, um, according to the information found in the computer, um, the uh, the shuttle's pretty much an auto. It's pretty much uh, the approach is basically going to be on autopilot, um, and and it also stress and the, the the information also stresses the need for radio silence at all times because there are no there are no secure communications uh, on the shuttle. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, so, um, does anyone remember the last time I awarded experience points? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Does anyone I'm remember that? My... No, it's, yeah. No, I don't say when. The last time I got XP was for performing surgery on the train, trying to take the bomb out of someone's head. Oh, that's right. That was back then. Anyone else? Anyone else remember any any experience points? No, nope, that sounds right. Okay. Um, because you got twelve hours of downtime at the moment, so I'm going to award you some experience points. Um, I'm also going to uh, I'm, I'm also going to let you spend some of them, depending on what you've been what you've been on what you've been using lately, which is a lot of combat, obviously, and other and other bits and pieces. So. Um, let me let me work this out. I was on the train, so we got all of Court's depression and all of the sanatorium, which would make it. Um, um, let's call it eight eight experience points each. That should cover everything we've done so far in this in uh, since then. Um, so each each give yourselves eight experience points, um, and you may spend those. Well, not as you wish. You better let me know what you want to spend them on, okay. and I'll approve it or not. Uh, I don't think I have enough, but fifth level technical skill. Um, four by five is twenty. Oh, so I will do tech if I can. Technician five. Well, you've been using you've been using locks and that, so um, and and all and repairs and all that. So I don't see why you couldn't do it. So yes, you may up your technician skill to level five for twenty points. Have you? Uh, uh, you're not mil you're not military, are you? That's twelve. Yeah, again, you've been using machine gun and things like that, so that I don't have a problem with that. Anyone else? Uh, I think projectile four for a non-military PSA is too expensive. Twenty-four. What's that? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That would be all of my XP. Do I want projectile four or do I want computer five? Probably computer five. Well, computer five is only twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Computer. What do you need for your spaceship skills, right? I mean, that's one I need way I'm looking at. six. Yeah. Put it's your just computer up, mate. Probably so best. useless in combat, but it's too expensive to get the military up. Oh, I don't know. There you go. This is, this has been a particularly combat heavy adventure so far, or especially the last several sessions. It always is. Oh well, it's that type of game. Uh anyone else? Uh, so that's uh, a flat 10% to all of these, right? I don't have to do anything fancier than that. No, no, flat 10% to all of them. Yeah, flat 10% to all of them. I'd like to bump my climbing skill. Uh, well, that would be... I a, spent a, a lot of time going up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's fine. Um, uh, that would That's the equivalent of putting up your... your uh, what we, we're using dex and... Re we're using dexterity for that, weren't we? Yes. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's one point, one experience point for one point of dexterity. Okay, thank you. Or any of the other, or any of the other ability scores, that matter.
So you can put that up as much uh, up to as many experience points as you like. I was going to say, you, yeah, you uh, do you have do you have medical six yet? No, I'm at four. You're at four. Well, see, it would cost you twenty five points to go to medical five if you wanted to do that. Yeah, I don't have twenty five though, so that's cool. I'm just giving you the options, dude. Thank you. That's right. What about you, Babs? Any idea what you'd like to do, if anything? Uh, would like to raise psychosocial, but I don't know how much I've really been using it. Yeah, you haven't really been using it. It's only a 12-hour trip, so no, I, I don't think that one. I thought we used some at the beginning. Yeah, I don't think you've used Not quite enough, enough to, to, to justify it, mate. How about Not uh, level two for throwing? Oh, yeah, that's fine. You, what have you thrown lately? Grenades? Yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. Um, um, that would be 12, though, right? 12 points, yeah. 12 points. So does that mean Computer 6 is... It's not... 24 it would be yeah, like 30 or something no it's 24 23 ah, okay cool uh, assuming you ha assuming you'd have enough point assuming you've got another 24 points no you can't put it up right now <laughs> no no i need another 20 points which in a it's a total of, of 80 yeah yeah it's a Yeah, it's, um, technician, if you're a technician, the technical scores go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Yeah. No, we'll double that if you're not, not a technician. Um, so, yeah. All right, um, so you get some sleep on the way, some of you. Um, most of the trip is spent in zero G, so you're not moving around much. Um, can I get stamina rolls off everybody, please? Current stamina rolls off everybody, please? No, you full stamina rolls off everybody, please. Yeah, everybody should be full, too. Mm, you shouldn't need healing, you just said. Are you hurt? No, no, no you need a full day's rest, mate. Well, first aid. He's already had first aid. Oh. Okay. So, so in pretty quick. It, it, uh, okay. So, um, Jazz, Jazz um, uh, gets um, space sick and upchucks in the zero G. Cat uh, gets sick and upchucks, and that causes Cerise to get sick and go upchuck <laughs> at some stage during the 12 hour trip. Once you, once you hit zero zero gravity, and Babu almost up chucks, but manages to hold on to his to his um, food. I keep my cookies. As he throws up in his mouth. <laughs> oh dear. So the plan question I have when we land, gentlemen, looks like we're going to go into three. Any reason to explore here before we go on? Do we care what's in seven, two, six, eight, five, one? Well, I don't, yeah, I'm also worried about starting a firefight and then the alarm being raised, right? What do the rest of you guys think? 
yeah, I think trying to not blow our cover. Uh, it's a pity we don't have more uniforms. I don't know how that's going to go, but... Well, putting me in one's not going to help. No. <laughs> so I guess I could be a prisoner. Uh, there is that sort of thing to try. Yeah, the only thing is... Give us is... a few moments of uh, surprise on them, maybe. Some sort of fail safe, like if we can't stop the countdown or the missile, then we would need a fail safe. But uh, I guess we can deal with that if that situation arises. Well, what fail safe? Right. Boom. Well, blo uh, yeah. If we can't stop boom. the if we can't stop the missile, then we try to detonate the power plants, right? Big boom. But I think we try to stop the missile. <coughs> All right. Well, big yeah. bada boom. Big bada boom. Okay. So let me pull up the relevant map so I know what's going and on. And I think Cat and Jazz should lead. Why Cat and Jazz? Because they're in uniform. Oh, yeah. Of course. So somebody else is a third person in uniform, too. Yeah, Doc. I'm pretending to be hurt. Oh, that's right. Doc. Doc can pretend to be taking me as a prisoner, I guess. Mm-hmm. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. He will build him stuff. Make him watch the procedure. Yeah, I can. So, Doc, do you mind carrying my gyro jet rifle? Ooh, well, okay, if you're asking, yes, I will. You can pretend to be keeping me prisoner, and then if br fight breaks out, just give it to me. Okay, Please. I'll hold it. I'm holding it backwards, though. <laughs> I'll try to get you to hold it correctly so you don't shoot yourself. But I'm putting the safety on. Funny that. Okay, so. I don't know, do you? That's I not, suspect I that if we uh, are on the moon, it, our breathing apparatus aren't really going to cut it. Do we yeah. know what the atmosphere of the moon is like? Uh, there's no atmosphere. It's a moon. There's no yeah. space. Oh, hang on. No, sorry, shuttle. that's sorry, that's that's unfair. Um, it's a no. It is. Uh, it is a. It is a. Um, uh, an airless body. There is yeah. no. There is no atmosphere. That was unfair of me. Um, so yeah. All right. No, no, they're 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 good for say. Um, top of Mount Everest, Mount Everest, they're not good for vacuum. Yes, it all, it, it, the whole thing, from what you gather, it's all underground, which is why no one's ever spotted it before. And it's compartmentalized, so. And it's compartmentalized. So I'll do yep. the the security doors, but then let Cat and Jazz lead. Mm hmm So um let's see, what's C? Hang on a sec. I assume a camera. Um yeah, it's just unusual why it's only in one spot. No, there's no, a couple no, of C's. No, 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 there's a couple. No, they are, no, yeah, they must, they must, they, yeah, they must, they must be, they must be cameras. Let me just check that. Sorry. I assume the legend is the top right corner. Top right corner? Of the map? The big black square? No, that's not the legend. No, that's something else. All right. No, that's no, no, else. no. That's something else. 
um, which is why it's been blacked out. Um, hang on a sec. Ah, it's like the senatorium. So where's the senatorium? I hate when they do that. Yeah, they were uh, cameras. Seized with cameras? Yeah. Okay, that's what they are then. I wasn't sure they cameras or computers. But it'd be unusual if we have computers in there. So the Caesar cameras, that's okay. Um, and they're marked as such, and it's obvious that that's what they are. Okay. Um, so, um, so the the shuttle um, heads in um, over the surface of the moon. Um, um, it looks lifeless. It looks like the moon, the moon, as opposed to uh, you know. Um, and a to around to the dark side. Uh, lights uh, flash on the console, um, and uh, Resi says that it's now on automatic docking. Okay. Um, and she's been here before, right? No. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. The mining colony's on this moon. Uh, no, it's not on this moon. The mining colony if I remember correctly, yeah, if I remember correctly, she saw or observed uh, ships coming and going, but has never been here. No, well, as far, no, well, that's even that's not true. I'm afraid. Um, as far as uh, no one's been to this, as far as as far as everybody is aware, nobody had been to this moon ever, apart from the initial explorers. Well, but there was something Resi witnessed. Right. That's what I was implying. Yeah, but that was on the other moon. Oh, okay. So there's a second moon. Okay. It's two moons. Yeah, sorry. I thought you guys were aware of that. I remembered that. Obviously, you hadn't. That was my fault. Not a problem. Okay. So the, the shuttle continues to maneuver over the dark side of the moon. Um, and Oh, but one, another question for you before we land. Does, yeah. At the other – at the with the other place – um, did Resi say that the shuttles were usually met by somebody? Well, the other place, the other place, well, um, the other place, yes, people, were, it, it, it was met. There was um, um, a, a flight operations officer, for want of a better term. Um, but that was a, for the mining colony and the, and the science base that was, and apparently the, the science base that re, re, that Resi, the science acti scientific activities that Resi a, apparently um, witnessed at, at the mining base. But that's the mining base was run by, as far as you're aware, different individuals. Okay. So the main, I mean, so while the, while you could be met, who knows? Um, it's typical that, that it happens, though. It's typical that there is a flight ops operations officer. Um, and if you studied the, um, if you studied the. Um, um, Diagrams in the shuttle. Um, um, areas two and six of zone one would be logical place places for an ops room, a control room of some sort. Right. Um, because another because those because those those aren't doors at the end of two. And that isn't a door, and that isn't a door at the end. They appear to be glass, uh, well, glass, uh, perspex glass. They, they, they would be windows out to the shuttle base. Okay. And another comment for Cat and Jazz, um, and verify this, Matt, um, but I think also, you know, the, they were probably not expecting the shuttle yet because of the maintenance repairs. And I would just, uh, I'd just tell I mean, them that. Yeah, you're you're a little bit early, but only yeah, by a couple of hours. But maintenance was done early, so we yeah came yeah up. yeah that's and that's probably the best way of saying it. Um, but yeah, you're you're not you were not significantly early. I mean, you're a little bit early, but not significantly early. So you know, does that make yeah. sense? Yep, that's for Cat and Jazz as a an approach if we're questioning. Okay. So, is there any other planning you want to do before? Cause you got to, I mean, it's a twelve-hour trip. Is there any other planning you want to do? Is there anything else that you want to discuss or anything else like that before we actually land? Land? Is 
ايه Yeah, well, that's a certainly it's certainly true. Cat, anything else you want to think about? No, I'm just having a look at things now, but no, it will come down to what we see when we land, won't it? And so unless uh, the other thing to be aware, um, you might uh, vote, you might have to be the one to operate some of the doors and things if there's a camera. Oh, do we have, we have codes. Yes. So let's try the codes. Yeah. Um, Kat has her file comp, so she'll be able to write down all the codes. Yep, that's no problem. Hang on, I'm just, just, just reading a couple of notes. So yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Uh huh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, while I was out, did uh, we sort of come together with the plan of what our what our point of being here is? Is it the supplies yeah. or is it the evil villain? Let's make the Ross watch their people die. I don't know. Which way you want to go, Josh? Uh, and do, well, I think Cap the, oh, sorry, you go. I was just going to say, I think the the reason the shuttle's here is for supplies. But the reason that uh, this bug is here is because uh, what's his face? Uh, the doctor wanted him to watch his people die. Um, what, a, what a nasty individual. I'm also, not a very are, nice we are we going about things all wrong? Um, does Cat have enough evidence on her file comp? to prove to a scientist here that it's fucked and that they shouldn't do it. They're going to kill all the humans too. Um, oh, that plus some, some, some very good persuasion roles. Mm, that's that we're not so good at that. Uh... I mean, I mean, let's face it. Anyone who would do this has to be pretty fanatical to start with. You know what I mean? So why should they listen to you type thing? So um, I don't know, mate. It, it, it's you know, um, you could. I mean, it's, it's certainly a, a possibility. Yeah, I don't like our chances. We're slightly better at combat than negotiating, and we're not very <laughs> good at either. There's a possibility we might we're breaching charges. With override. Yeah. Possibly, possibly. Um, Either way, we're, so, we're, we're certainly not doing our new standard operating protocol of bringing in a machine gun. I think that's going to trip the alarms pretty quickly. Um, cool. Yeah. Well, well, since you brought that up, let me let me ask you this. Um, no, we should no, absolutely bunch, not use a machine gun you, on a moon you, base. That. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. You, well, you, it's probably not too bad. You won't be puncturing any walls because the walls, it's, it's, it appears to be all carved out of rock um, if it's all underground, which is what the indication is. 
Um, my question to you is, though, you've got a whole bunch of equipment in the, in the shuttle storage area. What equipment are you actually carrying on you? Because it's conceivable something's going to happen. Well, it's a role-playing game. You know, you know something's going to happen away from the stores. So I need to know what you're carrying. It needs to be on your sheets. So again, in the 12-hour period you've been, you've been traveling up, you want to try and think about what and how many items you are going to be carrying on you. And your ankles, by, by the way, your ankles, um, cat, your ankles um, uh, healed enough that you don't, don't have that half movement penalty anymore. Cool. Uh, well, I mean, it. for you, I got 12 hours. I'd like to uh, adjust my body to the point where I can kind of hide the uh, handle of my forsack kind of within the, like a sheath basically within my like leg. Yeah, okay. You can do that. You can form a pocket yeah. for yourself. Uh, the thing is, is it, the thing is, you are transparent or semi-transparent. So, yeah. you know, if some... I'm also one of those weird ones that wear clothes, so... Oh, that's true. Uh... Um... So... No, that's true. Uh, yeah, but the I guess the other question is, how much can we carry before it's pretty obvious that we're sort of completely military and here to wreck their day? Because uh, well, that's a damn, that's a damn good question. I mean, there's certainly no reason why you there's certainly no reason why you why you couldn't be armed with a pistol. Yeah, um, like obvious gu obvious guards would probably get away with a rifle. Um, the four sacks, oh, I don't know, it's pretty big, the four sacks. I don't know whether you actually could form a pocket, mate, um, for the four sacks. Um, because it's, you know, it's, it's a metre long. Um, but again, but yeah, you know, our usual thing of carry 50 grenades and a machine gun probably isn't going to cut it. No, you could um, probably, you, you could, pro you could probably carry one or two grenades, one or two grenades each in pockets, for example. Yeah. I, a machine gun, yeah, no, I think machine gun's out of the question. Yeah. Uh, force uh, knives and sorry, hang on. Wait, knives and swords. Knives and swords. You'd probably get away with. Force axe. You'd probably get away with. But I don't know about forming a pocket, a sheath pocket, mate, in your body. Um, I don't know how you'd do that. It's, I think it'd be a bit too big. You could um, probably c carry it on your back, right? Like a sword. Yeah, that would. Yeah, like a sword. Yeah. Like you would a sword. Um, on the back. Like and just let it kind of sink in, flush. Yeah, right. yeah underneath there's certainly your skin no, suit. There's certainly no reason why you couldn't have a. I mean, a power belt, a power belt pack, would be certainly wouldn't even wouldn't even draw a, a second glance. Two belt packs, uh, that might draw a second glance. A backpack, maybe one or two in the group. But if everyone came in wearing a ba a backpack, I think that'd raise a bit a bit of concern. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a bandolier of a bandolier of uh, of um, uh, bullets for anything. You know, maybe a bit too much. You know, three or four, again, three or four magazines in a in a in a pocket. You get away with maybe, um, or even do the old strap a, you know, uh, stra strap the magazines butt to butt, uh, so that you know you flip the magazine over thing. You've seen, you know, you start like seeing the movies and that, and we do in yeah. real life. Um, you probably get away with two or three of those. Yeah. Um, so I don't think you, you you can't you can't do that with um, with uh, laser pistol clips. Um, so you either carry one or two clips, uh, you know, and a couple of two or three spare clips, um, all have it hooked up to a belt pack or a backpack. Um, skin suits, yeah, not a problem. Everyone wears skin suits. Um, the the screens, yeah, you probably get away with one screen each. Um, a backpack? Yeah, I can't say it. Um, a, 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 a slung? Oh, then again, a slung bag, maybe. I mean, yeah, carrying carrying things in a slung bag. Um, yeah, one or so two of you, not 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 ev not everybody, but one or two of you could do that, you know. Um, because uh, the our biggest concern here is the tech kit. Uh, well, tech kits, have... tech kit, yeah, tech kits are pretty common. They and you wear those on a belt, so that wouldn't be a problem. Similarly, with a med kit. Yeah, 
No, they're primarily they so there have been uh, maybe not. There are there are there are reports. There's certainly no there's certainly re no reports of Brusk around, but there the KLC apparently do sometimes have um, Dralocyte and Yazirian members. Whether there's you, you, you haven't sort of spotted any yet um, uh, in the in the thing, but the Senatorium the, the Senatorium had a, had a, a Yazirian, a couple of Yazirians and a, and a Dralocyte. Um, so they're not so much pro-human as anti-brusque. Well, as I said, yeah, it's a matter of it's a matter of there's no reason why you can't grab one of the other weapons. Yeah, well, I guess we're pretty much talking pistols and melee, and right, right. And, and 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 maybe a couple you could couple you could get away with the right with some rifles. Yeah, you know, like two or three rifles probably wouldn't wouldn't well, you wouldn't bat an eyelid at, but if everyone comes in with rifles, it's like yeah, and I mean if and if you're going with the prisoner story, maybe you could get away with with three or four rifles. Yeah, there's, well, there's no there's no point for me to take a rifle because um, we're probably dealing with short range and the the automatic rifle doesn't do any more damage than an auto pistol. So, uh, All right, the, so the, the, take... the projectile people may as well take auto pistols. And there's there's definitely some that were in the stash. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so, so please, if you haven't done already, just list out on your sheet what you're taking, all right, and where it is. Remembering that you've either got the blue overalls or skin suits on, which will be the outer covering. Um, and if you're going to be wearing the blue uniforms, put them over the skin suit, would be my advice. Um, yeah. Um, and, you know, not everyone can have a backpack or, or a slung bag or whatever. But you don't forget, you know, you've, you, these things have got thigh pockets, hip pockets, bum pockets, breast pockets, you know what I mean? Waist pockets. You know, there's plenty of pockets you can put things in. However, if all if everybody's pockets bulging with grenades and and clips and things like that, it's a little bit over the top. So just keep that in mind and talk amongst yourselves if you need to about hey, can you know, can I can I have this because no one else has got it, whatever. And again, how many belt packs? And if you want to if one or two people want to wear backpacks, obviously the people with slung bags shouldn't have power backpacks. You know, and just so keep it just keep all that in mind uh, and work out what you're going to be carrying. Where you're going to be carrying it, please. Can we do that? Is that all right? Yeah. I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. uh, question: In can we make the backpack look like you know, I don't know, like a carry-all type backpack that you know, as a prisoner, I'm carrying two heavy loads, so guards don't have to. Oh yeah, you certainly you certainly make that excuse for yourself. So that uh, way we uh, can uh, have two backpacks, and I can throw one to whoever else needs it. And yeah, yeah, and, and, so, and, and, so, and a third person can have a backpack as well. Yeah, Jazz would definitely have a power backpack, but also no, no, I'm talking remember, about a, a, a carry pack. I'm talking about. Yeah, um, but also remember, you know, there were a whole bunch of militia paramilitary folks that we just killed down below. So. For you know, some of them to come up might not be out of out of question. No, especially if they've caught someone like yourself. So I mean, you've got plenty of ex I think you've got plenty of excuse excuses, and that as long as you don't say say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing at the wrong time, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, I mean, so. folk, if you wanted to carry the machine gun, you know, if you if if you're not carrying it like mm. a weapon, you're carrying it like cargo. No, I, re I, I really don't think machine gun's a good idea, guys. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't think it is. So, yeah, um, whatever. Yeah, it's probably overkill here. It's overkill. It, it's, and it's certainly a lot harder to explain a machine gun than, I mean, than a couple of rifles, especially, you know. So, yeah.
So what do you want to do, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, so we got we got ourselves all sorted as far as the lights concerned. I think so. Is everyone written on their sheet what they're doing, which is good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Now, don't uh, now you'll it'll be obvious it'll be obvious that the um um from the zone one map, which is map six six point six, um there are hatches, doors, and airlock hatches. All right. So just remembering remembering how we do things. Door, you know, doors and hatches. You got to stop in front of them, take one round to open them, and then move through them. Um, airlock hatches take obviously more than that. Take two rounds to stand in front of to activate because they yeah, stand in front of them and they activate and whatever. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, does that make sense or not? Yeah. Yeah, good. Just making sure we're all yeah know what we're talking about and doing the same we're on, on the same page. So once you once everybody tells me they're right, and I think I'm only waiting on Voke at the moment. We'll, we'll move on. <laughs> yeah. Well, I say you probably take one or two grenades. You just, or if you want to put them in the bag, you put them into a carry bag. Take a lot of grenades in one of the in one of the carry bags. You're talking about carrying. It's up to you. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, so the shuttle continues to maneuver over the dark side of the moon as you come in. Uh, below, a light suddenly appears and grows. This is what you can see. Um, and what's happening is the bottom of a crater is sliding aside, AKA James Bond, Moonraker style. If you rem remember the movie. Um, so the shuttle, uh, without Resi doing anything at all, the shuttle slowly descends into the crater um, until it rocks to a halt. There is a thrumming sensation uh, beginning, begins to vibrate and the shuttle um, which is landed on a landing pad, begins to descend into the moon. Um, this goes on for several minutes um, until eventually it comes, in to, it comes to rest um, based on the number of doors you can see. And because uh, you can see two doors um, at a 45 degree angle from each other and a camera at 135 degrees angle, you suspect you've come down in shuttle pad one. Um, once, um, so the shuttle, the, the shuttle des descends by your estimation about 50 meters or so, uh, and then a flexible opaque docking tube extends from the shuttle, uh, extends uh, from the shuttle bay shuttle bay's door area uh, to connect to the shuttle airlock. Uh, the tube pressurizes um, and uh, eventually um, uh, so uh, yeah once the tube has, has attached itself to the airlock on your shuttle um, a voice uh, the, uh, a voice and if you can give me Either the highest of intuition or logic, please. If anyone's got, if anyone's got a an ear for languages, um, you, you let me know because I'll give you a bonus. I open your. That was Ceres, actually. Uh, what was Ceres? The first roll. Oh, the first roll. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So anyone who anyone who rolls over fifty. Um, or who happens to be a Dralocyte and rolls over 40. Yep, so did, so did Jazz. Um, it's, it, it, the voice is, a, the voice, you're pretty sure the voice is a Dralocyte voice. Okay. 
Um, uh, so a ca the voice comes over the, the intercom uh, the, the intercom system. Uh, tube now pressurized. Uh, report to security room for debriefing. Welcome home. Uh, there's a little, there's a slight uh, a slight smile in the in the tone of, uh, over the welcome home business. Um, so, uh, what do you want to do? Security room is probably two, but do we want to go? We've got to go to three. I mean, we've got to go in the tube, right? There's only one way out of here. Then do we jump on? I, mean, I guess we got to go to the security room. I'm get, And I'm guessing the security room is room two. So I think we have to kill everybody there. We can try. Intro kinetically introduce ourselves. So are we on the big map or are we on the other one? Oh, well, I've got I've got I've got map six six up because it's it's a better resolution. Okay. <clears throat> but it's up it's up to you guys. It's, I don't I don't mind which map you work off. We don't have tokens on the board, so it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter exactly. No, it doesn't matter. Um, so, um, so, uh, so the shuttles. So you've got the uh, a, a plastic, a, 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 well, a polymer polymer tube of some sort connecting um, your shuttle to um, the airlock business. Uh, what do you want to do, guys? Ceres will verify that we have a positive lock. Yeah, you have a positive lock. And then Jazz and Cat can lead the way. Jazz will go out. All right, so you're going. So as you, it, it's obvious that it's obvious from um, that, that the individuals, if anyone's in, you can you, put it this way: as Jazz starts to cross the tube, um, it's a clear plastic, it's a clear tube, plastic polymer, or whatever. But um, the, the, if he if he looks towards area two, he can see um, uh, what appears to be a drill site um, uh, and a human in room two. Looking out, at, looking out towards the freshly landed shuttle uh, through the glass windows, or whatever they are, glass polymer of some sort. Uh, you know. Okay, and you're heading for area three. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, there's nowhere else to go, right? Okay, that, well, no, you could probably do a detour if you really wanted through vacuum to try and get into the airlock into area seven, but I don't right. think that's no. viable. So the only question, guys, is do you should we leave Ceres behind for the moment until you secure room two? Okay, so Ceres will stay behind. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, everyone Ceres is going into area into the airlock into toward between areas one and three. Is that right? No, yep. I think the doc is going to stay with Ceres. Okay, that's fine. Um, so um, you enter the the four of you enter the airlock. Um, I'm assuming you guys have got your comm systems. Yep. Yep. And I'm assuming it's got it's scrambled. Um, so you, the airlock cycles and you move into area three. Now area three um, um, has um, a mag rail rail uh, in a circle around the centre of the room with um, uh, two two rails joining and leaving or one rail joining and one rail leaving whatever um, and disappearing into behind a hatch in the floor that's uh, that big circle area in hatch three so it looks like um, this place runs on some sort of mag rail uh, system um, as you surmised from earlier um, and it looks like cars come up through the hatch um, and circle the room and go back down into the hatch does that make sense Yep. Okay. So now, as you as the door opens and you begin to move into area three, um, you can hear over the you can hear an automated voice um, over uh, over some sort of speakerphone uh, or speaker system. Um, Excelsior launch now due in twenty minutes and counting. There's our timer, gentlemen. So Jazz will lead the way to room two. 
unless okay. Kat wants to lead. So you get almost all the way over to the airlock into, uh, or the whatever the room into into two towards two, when there's a hissing noise from behind you. Um, the pressure door over the middle of the centre of the floor opens up, and um, a two car vehicle um, comes up um, up out of if you're on the map that um, that 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 rail and circles the room over to the other one now this this vehicle um, I said it's two cars or two you know two, a two car train whatever um, first of all you can see two technicians first of all there's a human and a Yaziri and they're both dressed in the blue uniform um, um, oh, by the way, the, it, it's, it's only 0.6 gravity, by the way. I just thought I'd mention that. So when you walk, um, you bounce around a bit. Did anyone want to grab the magnetic boots out of the shuttle before we go any further? Uh, uh, do we have to go back for them? No, 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 no. You would have known this before you left. I'm just, I'm doing a bit of, re I'm do doing a bit of retcon. I think Babu would think he's going to be swinging. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we definitely as well. Okay, so let me let me let me describe let me describe this this um, this vehicle to you. Um, um, so there, it, it's it's a mag mag train, I suppose you want to call it. I don't know, uh, a magna truck and a magna whatever. Um, Magle maglev. Mag yeah, uh, maglev. Um, so both both of the of the units are uh, about one and a half meters wide and about two and a half meters long. Okay, um, the the lead vehicle, a lead component, uh, has uh, two seats. Uh, the whole thing's open, by the way. There are two seats in an open area, um, and there seems to be some sort of control panel in front of the seats. Um, and the back half uh, can, seems to be some sort of container area with a semicircular lid. Um, that's, so that's the front, that's the first one. Um, you think you could get two people uh, into, into that back back box area possibly based on its size assuming the whole thing was open um the second the second part of this vehicle or second part it, it, um appears like the uh, like the back half of the first one only obviously a lot bigger um so you could probably get two people uh it's four people into the that the, that area if you really needed to want to um but again it's got it's got a large the two large semicircular um uh, uh, lids lids on it Okay, um, so that's what you can see uh, as it comes up. Uh, the guys come to a, the, the the human and the and the Yazirian come to a halt. Now, if I'm correct, there's four of you there: two in uniform and two in skin suit, right? Yep. All right. So um, when they finally pull up, they they, they get out um, and they um, um, they look at you uh, with funny looks. Well, not funny looks, but they, with quizzical looks on their faces, and goes, uh, "Who are these guys?" So they're talking to the they seem to be talking to the two of you in uniform and they're indicating who are the guys in the skin suits. So who are you guys? Who are those guys, better way of saying? Sorry. So Jazz will just say, ah, these are some of our special ops. Okay. Fair enough. And they move towards the tra they move towards the, 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 the second the second car of this vehicle. Um, and unless you guys do something. Um, they uh, open up um, the back uh, and they drag out um, a, uh, a robot. Appears to be a security robot, deactivated security robot. Um, give me a second. Um, the feet of this security robot, because it's it's anthropomorphic, 
a, ay, no sé, eh, uh, so not the feet, um, there seem to be nozzles near the hips of this thing. Possibly. Do they need a hand? Uh, no, they, no, we've got it. Thanks, guys. They're a little bit wary of the, you guys in the in the skin suits, uh, and they head towards they head towards the the, the, the airlock into Area Seven. Okay, so we continue go to two. Okay, um, you cycle yourself through the airlocks uh, in Area Two, um, and uh, into uh, eventually into Room Two. Um, it's a control room, Room Two. It contains monitor screens, there's a computer terminal, um, and controls uh, for what appear to be opening and closing ship bay and shuttle bay doors. Uh, transparent panels look out onto the ship bay and the shuttle bay. Uh, the shuttle bay is area five, it's the bigger bigger area, so they call that the, the ship bay. Um, and there is a human and a dweller site. Um, they're unarmed. Um, they don't have any, don't appear to have any screens or skin suits. Um, and they look up at you and go, what are you guys doing here? Come on, someone, quick. Well, I'm guessing we picked the wrong room, gentlemen. So... Uh, Jazz will kind of smile at him and, and walk over and say, well, we had something for you. Oh, yeah? What? Tabu would lower one of the packs to the ground and put the other one on. Okay. Oh, yeah? I, I don't know if, you, if uh, you guys always, you know, if we're, you know, we're really not supposed to have this, but we thought you might want to share a little bit. What, you bring up some pony mag? You bring up some girly mags or something, did you? Here, let me show you. And, uh... Okay. Well, shall we, gentlemen? Okay, let's get some initiative rolls, please, guys. You gotta actually speak up if you want to do something. Well, well neither could I. Oaks on eight. Yeah, of course, when I hit the wrong button. It wasn't okay. going to matter anyway. <laughs> oh, no, you could have you talked your way out of it. The question is, can you get it done quietly? All right, so it looks like, looks like the best one there is uh, Babu. Uh, Doc, no need for you to roll. You're wrecking the shuttle, remember? Yes, just yes, have it. So, Babu, what do you plan to do? Or better way, let's do it this way. Cat, you got the lowest. What do you plan to do? Uh, I was just going to flick my wrist and shoot one of them with the, my needle or pistol on my wrist. Okay. The the drus the rusk or the 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 <laughs> shit the human or the drow side. Uh. Is there one who who is the one that Jazz is closest to? Um, the human. Then the the drill side. You're going to shoot. You're going to shoot at the drill side. Okay, so that's what you plan to do. Um, Jazz, what do you plan to do? Uh, can he draw a sword and attack? Oh, sorry, sorry, Voke. What do you plan to do? You're the next one. And. Charge and attack. Okay, that's fine. Jazz, what do you plan to do? Sword and attack. Okay. J uh, Babu, what do you plan to do? Whoever the biggest one is, I'm just going to grab them and try to wrestle them to the ground. Okay, so you're going to try and wrestle them to the ground. Okay, that, well, that again, the biggest one's probably the human. Okay? Because humans are bigger than dralocytes. Works that's for fine. me. All right, so... Jazz is actually closer to the Jazz is quite close to human. Uh, Vokes not that close. So um, let me I need to, let me let me see what I can. Well, these guys are under surprise. So let me roll two of these and see what happens. 
We're not expecting to be attacked so much. Right, okay. So, um, j uh, I need a uh, attack roll for the uh, for the attack from you, Vogue, and I put in you, Babu, to tackle the human. As you run, as you run it, as you run across. No, this is for Babu to go across and tackle the human. That would just be the base melee, right? A base melee roll. It's a melee roll. It's a rest. It, it's a wrestling specialization. If you happen to have that, which I don't think you do. Um, so base. That's it's a base melee. Yeah, you don't have martial arts, do you? No. No. Okay. So it's a straight. It's a straight strength or dex roll. A strength roll for melee. All right. So you miss the human, and do not manage to grapple him. Uh, next, we had. Um, uh, Doc. Uh, sorry. Next, we had. Um, jazz. So you draw your sword. Uh, quick dex, a quick a quick dex check for that man, please, mate. Oh yeah, uh, and can attack this and can and, and can attack this uh, can attack this guy. Uh, carve him up. So uh, attack with your sword if you wish. Uh, except that you miss. Uh, next was Boke. You're attacking the drow side, I believe. Is that right? Uh, dexterity check for the quick draw, yeah. Nope. Um, so you can't attack this round. Uh, and finally, Cat, um, you're you're ready to go with your needler. Yeah. Because it's on your wrist. I know it's a wrist. It's a wrist pluck, so you don't need to do a quick draw. You just need to f shoot the bastard. Uh, you are successful hitting the drill site. Now, what's this thing aimed? Uh, uh, was, it, was this a damage or a It's a chemical? sleep. It's a so sleep. It's 1d10 and then a current stamina. All right, so give me a d10 roll, please. Because that will affect the stamina roll. Uh, and the drill site is not successful. Uh, and so slumps to the floor. That's what it's for. That's what it's for. Okay, so a fresh a fresh round of initiatives, please, people. And the remaining guy who's no longer surprised. Okay, um, so Kat, you've got action. All right, she'll take a shot at the other one. With what? The needle pistol. I thought I thought it was a single shot on your wrist. Uh, it's it's a it's a proper needle a pistol. Oh, is it? Oh, go for your life then. Sorry, I thought it was a, I thought it was a single shot special. No, it's not like a flechette type arrangement. It's a it's a there is a needle a pistol in my hand now. It's a spring loaded. Oh, it's a pistol. Oh, right, I'm with, yeah. Okay, yeah. now I'm with you. Sorry, I didn't realize that's what it was. My fault. I thought it was a special. Um, I thought it was a Spider Man special. Ah, no, 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 no. Sorry, no. Okay, so you've got the... Okay, so go in that case. Yeah, by all means, shoot him if you've got a shot. Or we'll have any many shots you can you, you can normally have. Miss for the first nah, one. Nah, that's a miss. You only get one shot with a needle? Uh, I can't remember, and I don't have the rule set up. Okay. Um, I thought you had multiple shots with a needle. I think so. I thought it was at least two. Yeah, pretty much everything has at least two. Yeah, except for, like, the Sonic Stunner, I think. So, yeah, I, I, I will just say oh. it's two. Yeah, two. I'm happy to say it's two. So that's a better shot. Yes, you definitely get him then. Uh, so D10 damage. Uh, and I'll roll his current. Whoops! I'll roll his current stamina roll. No, he slumps to the ground as well. <laughs> Excellent, cat. Um, well done, cat. Um, you're more. You're more. Of, you're more of an assassin than a warrior, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, both these guys are slumped to the ground, um, and obviously they, neither of them had a chance to set the, any alarm off yet. There's no alarm going off, um, so that was uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm just, I'm just counting off. I'm just counting off um, uh, time here, gentlemen, and how much time we've, we're using so, how much time we've used so far. Um, 
do they have any security passes or anything that we can uh, quick search up? the bodies? Quick get search the bodies if you want to do that. So Jazz and Cat, we should go to the other room while the other two take those uniforms and stuff them okay. in the drawer. Well, there's no drawers around. You could lower them behind a, a desk somewhere and whatever. Yeah. Um, How long do they stay asleep for, Jazz or Cat? Uh, it was like D100 rounds for a while. <laughs> yeah, anyway, don't get 100 rounds is only six seconds. But as in, it's a, it's a minute. Yeah, up to a minute. Uh, up to ten minutes. Yeah. Up to ten minutes. So you probably want to go. You probably want to spend a minute or two tying them up if you've got, if you can, and gagging them if you, you know, or killing them outright if they, whichever way you want to, whichever way you want to go. I say we kill them and stuff them in, but I think Jazz and Cat need to go to the next, go to room seven. Okay. Oh, okay. We we full murder hoboing everybody rather than just going off on the train. Well, no, well, we, did, no, no we, ha we have to go to the security room, right? This was not the security room. They told us to report to the security room. Yeah, these guys who are now sleeping told you to report to the security room. Oh, uh, so maybe the security room is in the center? Yeah, I don't know. There, there, are, there, are, there, are car, there is a car up here. Uh, that could potentially just take us off. Um, I think it's worth trying before we go killing everybody. But hmm. well, but I would go ahead yeah. and kill no, these well, the, two. The, 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 okay, well, hang on. The, 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 the exact the exact the exact message was report to the security room for debriefing. Yeah. Okay. But as far as seeing as far as it seems at the moment, the only person who the only people who know you're here. Are these are two guys two? and the, yeah. and the two the two guys with the with the deactivated security bot? Yeah. Who were heading for the maintenance room? And well, which one's the maintenance room? Um, seven. Seven, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I cool. mean, it's it's it's, oh, it's 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 not it's not it's not flight ops. So I don't know where else it would be. And where else would they take it? They headed that way towards room seven. So, yeah. And. So is it, is there anything else overlooking the tube and three? Uh, well, uh, nothing overlooks no nothing overlooks nothing overlooks three at all. Um, flight ops overlooks one and five, and there, obviously there's that corridor leading down to six, which is probably secondary flight ops. Yeah. Uh, looking over four, but nothing looks over three at all. Yeah. Okay. Because right now it feels like. As long as those other two are out of the way, we should be trying the car and GTFOing before an alarm gets raised. That's fine. So, so uh, you want to kill these guys, hide the bodies, and take the and take the, take the uniforms. Is that what you say? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, having the uh, having the two extra uniforms will be good. All right. So you strip these guys off. How are you going to kill them? Just put a knife in them. Yeah, sword uh, to their throat. Yeah. Okay. Slit. All right. Uh, however you you know sever a thralocyte's nervous system. Yeah. Put a put a put a, a knife into its brain into its primary brain stem. Um. So yeah. So. Um. What am I looking for? What's I'm looking for? Okay. So um. Um, over on the, for want of a better term, the eastern side or right-hand side of the uh, of room three, um, uh, where the uh, where this thing's pulled up, um, uh, is a bit of a uh, is a, is not too far away from there is a is a a um, uh, 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 sorry a button. On the wall, or on the stand, or, or whatever. Okay. Um, you suspect it's a call button. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, the uh, mag maglev train, or what do you want to call it, mag truck, whatever. Um, in addition to the two seats, um, the control panel has um, an intercom. 
um, probably powered through the rails. That's how I do it. Um, and eight colored buttons. Uh, orange, blue, purple, yellow, black, and brown, and green. Um, so there's those eight buttons, as I said. Do uh, you want those colors again? Orange, blue, purple, yellow, black, brown, green. There's also a red button uh, in the shape of uh, in the shape of it. all the, the the colored buttons were all were all um, just in a single panel of uh, square square buttons uh, in a single row. There's just off to the right hand side. Uh, just off the left hand side is the intercom just off to the right hand side is a uh, an octa uh, octagonal sh octagonally shaped red button clearly um, clearly labeled emergency stop yeah and is okay. there any indication in this room is there a color associated with room three here or with the call button um the call button itself uh the, the, if that's what it is um uh, is uh, is an orange call button. If they had any, but th whether that means anything or not. And one of the button colors was orange, right? And one of the button co colors was orange. Yes. I tend to vote black myself, gentlemen. It was orange, blue, purple, yellow. Black, brown, green, and the red emergency stop button. Yeah. Uh, and there's no, there's nothing in the data that I took <laughs> from the ship that uh, would indicate uh, codes or anything lining up to these colors. No, no, not a okay. thing. I, 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 I am assuming that the the people who run the place assume that anyone here knows what they're doing and where to be going anyway so won't need instructions so let's anybody want to vote not orange i think is a good <laughs> okay so there's a vote up for yellow and a vote for black One of you has to be the tiebreaker. Uh, <laughs> all right, looks last like one. One, last one of you has to be a tiebreaker. That was always going to be the case. Green means go, yo. Well, vote's Indeed. actually not there. You did vote with the green, okay. Um, I'm assuming Cerise and Voke have both joined you guys at the carousel at yep. the at the terminal i should say and yeah. we're watching door seven if we can okay. oh of course you can so let's go yellow yep okay so who's yep. climbing into where cerise will climb into the back the back of the first yeah. car or the back of the, or the second car uh do they both look like they have um No, the second car's no, no. The second car's the same size. Does the second car look? Oh, it's the same style. It's not a cargo bed. No, well, it's not a cargo bed. No, they're both the same style. As I said the second car is like the last half, the, the back half of the first car. It's a container with a semi, with, well, in this case, two semicircular lids um, on it. So, it's, and then it's it's where they drag the the bot out of. Um, and does it look like it? Bit. Does it look like it's pressurized? Uh, no, but the the two seats at the front of the first car are, are open. Oh, okay. They're just seats. They're so they're, nothing's pressurized. Well, Cerise mm -hmm. will go in the back of it. Will go in car two. The back of car the back two. Back of car two. Okay. All right. Well, car said it's two and a half meters by one and a half meters. You can probably fit um, three Vrusk or four regular people in the in the back of car two. Uh, who's going to be, who's in car one? Jazz will be one of the quote drivers. All right. And the other one? 
the other. And are these cars linked? Like when the first one yeah, goes, it's, the it's, other it's, one's it's like a, it's, it's like a train. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, uh, I guess Cat's in a uniform. She can go in the the front of one as well. All right. The jazz so, yeah, Vulcan so, ba Babu should be in uniform now too. Yeah. That's right. So what do you want to do? You want to get, do you want to call a second car, or do you want to go in? Uh, or do you want to climb in with? with the, do you want to climb in with Vogue, uh, with uh, Cerise? The doc can or do you want to car? Or do you want to get in the front car in the in the cargo area of the front car? All right. All right. So you're in you're in you're in the cargo container with with Cerise. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And the docks docks climbed into the cargo area of the front car. And Jazz and Cat are riding the front car in the seats. That just leaves you, Babu. Uh, I think I should be second second row or whatever, nearest one of the exits, so I can get out, be ready to swing when needed. So does that mean the back of the, Does that mean car two or car one? I was thinking car one. If nobody's with Cherise, then somebody should be there. No, well, Vokes with Vokes with Vokes with Cerise, and yeah. you can squeeze in. You can squeeze into the back of car one with Doc if you want. Yeah, because I don't think Doc's going to be jumping out quick. For me. Okay. So, everyone happy with that? Yep. yep. I'm a little okay. concerned that there's no one in the driver's seat of the second car in case they get separated. There is, but there is no driver's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. No so, seat. okay. So it is definitely a trailer. Okay. Yep. It's definitely a cool. trailer. Yeah. Yep, it's gotcha. definitely a trailer. There is no, there is no second seat. So, okay. Yep. Cool. All right. So, um, give me a second. Just when the Jurassic Park ride starts. <laughs> uh, there are seat belts, by the way, on the two seats. Why not? Do we get the impression uh, yeah, that yeah, these yeah. things are going to move fast? Um, well, they got seatbelts, and they came mm -hmm. up. They came out of the shaft pretty. They came out of the thing pretty quickly, reasonably quickly. Cat will do up her seatbelt and say, "Hold on, back there." Over the comms. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. So um, you've got uh several buttons there. You said. Uh, you're gonna push the yellow one. Yep. Yep. All right. Hang on. So give me a second. I need that map. If we start going towards the power plant till the. Uh... Yeah, if we start going towards it. So what does that mean? We, If we don't turn right when we hit this big um, crux of everything, then we've hit the wrong button. You mean you mean zone two? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And set off an alarm. Yeah, no, you just go to the next destination and you hit the next color. That's the way to do it. Now, all you're wasting is time. Well, not wasting, but all you're doing is time. Okay, so um, when you hit the when, when you hit the, the yellow button, the uh, the the uh, car you're in starts to um, uh, move around the uh, rail um, until it gets to that southern input input rail, and then takes that input rail and um, heads down into the uh, through through the the hatch into um, a transport tunnel. Okay. Um, um, so as as it starts to descend, it, it starts to accelerate quite quite rapidly. Um, if you weren't strapped in, you would require uh, you would obviously need to hold on and hold a strength check. 
Um, as it is, the, guy, the six of you, uh, the five of you, six of you who are not seated and strapped in, um, um, it's a bit of a bumpy, it's a bit of a, you, you get thrown to one side um, and you uh, each take D th D5 damage. Uh, mm, yes, you're okay with the magnetic boots. As I believe well, would see. be uh, somebody else as well, Doc as well, I think. Who, who else had the magnetic boots? Yeah, those of us who need a stable platform on which to. Mm-hmm. So whoever else was in the in the back without magnetic boots, uh, that was three. So three seems to roll me d5 damage as well. Yep, that's. Uh, um, well, Jazz was buckled in. That's three. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so whoever else wasn't wearing magnetic boots needs to roll me d5, and don't forget to d5 under the d10 in the special dice area. Oh no, there's not. There should be. There's not though. There is. I just typed it. No, well, there's there's a special die under on the d10. Um, under the custom die. Yeah. So who, who else wasn't wearing mag boots? Because there are only two sets of mag boots. That would have been uh, Babu. Okay. Babs, you there? Yep. Okay. Where? Die 5 for wearing mag boots? No, for not wearing mag boots. Who was not wearing mag boots? Well, I said I'd take a pair just because I was going to be swinging. Well, that must be you then, Doc. I don't know. Does everyone want uh, someone possibly floating around while working on the innards? Well, at the moment, at, okay. At the moment, I know for a fact that Babu's got mag boots, and I, I and I'm pretty sure Vokes got, got took the other pair. So I don't think you've got them, Doc. I'm afraid. Okay. Now I could be wrong on that. If I'm wrong on that, let me know. No. Okay. But if you're not, if you haven't got mag boots, which is what I think it is the case, I need you to roll me d5 for damage. So that's four points of damage. Being buffered around from the 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 the, uh, the, the mag rav train. Okay. Do the skin and suits help at all? Uh, skin suits will help. Yeah, skin suits do help. Of course, it's it's com it's 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 kinetic damage. So if you've got skin suits, half to the suit and half to you. And if it's an odd number, the skin suit gets the extra point. Yep. Okay. Um, so skin suits round up, personal half round up, uh, personal damage half round down. Um, that, by the way, that damage is taken over the entire trip. Not just, it's not taken all at once. It's taken over the entire trip. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, it does to me. So, that's okay. All right. If you want to, if you want to, if those who want to pull up, um, if those people want to pull up map six seven for me. For those who want to share that, if you haven't done it already, there we go. Um, so as you approach um, along the along the, the the corridor, as you approach um, the central hub area here, or this this area here, this the round area nine, the interchange area, um, your your maglev uh, slows down, and it stops right there. Um, yes, there is. Uh, the two of you, uh, which is Jazz and Cat, um, there's a uh, another two-car um, train coming um, coming 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 from your coming from your right. So coming from this way. Yeah, from the carousel. From the carousel. Okay. Um, and um, the uh, uh, and travels um, and comes around the corner leading up towards um, the dock. And so it comes past you. Um, there is um, uh, two humans. Uh, one uh, is an obvious guard. The other one's just probably a, a technician of some sort. Um, they glance at you, but don't seem to, to, to take much notice of you. What would you like to do? Now, remember, it's only the two of you, it's only Jazz and Cat that can see this. The guys in the, 
in the cargo boxes cannot see anything. So unless you want to relay the information to them. No, just nod. Nod your head, Adam. Okay. Uh, so as soon as uh, as soon as um, the, this this as soon as this other mag train whatever uh, clears the intersection, you guys uh, will can proceed, and you, and, the, and you start to start up. And what happens is um, you make your way around onto this rail. Oh yeah, good call, Vogue. Um, and. Um, yep, so that's, so that's the way you go. And... Um, a little bit further, uh, uh, you're not sure, it's, it's hard to tell how far you travel because it's hard, it's, the, the, the walls are featureless apart from the odd piece of lighting. Uh, the odd, you know, they're, they're well lit, but it's um, it's, it's very hard to, to tell how far you've travelled, uh, except by time. So yeah, you know, it took it took a it took a two or three minutes to get to um, zone two, and as you travel along um, towards the carousel area, um, you get to a. Um, I just realised something. <laughs> Interesting. Hang on a sec, guys. Just two, two, two shakes of a lamb's tail. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to part yeah. ways here. Look, um, it's it's it, we've I've been got going a for four hours. Incoming. Yeah, yeah. We've, we, we, it's actually a good place to leave it. Believe it or not, gentlemen. So let's leave it for the, leave it for now. User disconnected from your channel. If that's all right with everybody, is that is that okay with everybody? Yep, all good. Yep. yep. All right, guys. Um, um, you're on. So you're heading towards the carousel, and I've just realised there's a mistake on the map, uh, but that's okay. Um, I can fix that in the meantime. Um, so um, let's ha let's see how we all go. Um, what are we all? Um, uh, is everybody happy with to leave it? We'll wrap it up there. Anyone got any last minute minute comments? No, nope, all I'm good. good. All right, guys. Well, thanks. <laughs> um, thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for it, that was um, a lot of fun. Thank you. Um, we'll see everybody in two weeks' time, hopefully, without any too much trouble. Uh, if you want to play those closing credits, guys, and we'll see everybody in two weeks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yep. Take care, Bye. everyone. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>